Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, except for today again. It's After Dark, and we're going to be playing some old games. Yay! From 1982. 82! Part two of three. Part two I of think. three. <laughs> the list here. I have the stack in front of us, as you can see in the cat cam there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, I do need my cell phone. Oh, are you going to run up and get your cell phone? Can you run up and get oh, my okay. cell phone? Okay, I can get well, your I cell can phone. Well, I can delay, or do you want to delay? No, no, I can <laughs> <laughs> So, we've got, I think, about 35 games here to play. I've got a good chunk of them in front of me. Some of them uh, are from the Starpath Supercharger, which I don't have, which... You really wouldn't want me to sit here and press play and wait. I think somebody said about 15 seconds to load, which is not too bad. But we're going to be loading the Starpath Supercharger games off of the uh, multi-cart. Um, so that'll make it a little bit faster. Not, I'm not opposed to getting all those on, on, uh, on cartridge, though. On tape. Uh, we've got a good mix of M Network. Oh, thank you, Packrat VG, for resubscribing. 29 months. It seems like a long time, he says. Yes. Ah, my notes. Um, there was a correction from last episode um, when I said that in 1982 Part 1, the last episode, that Air Raid was a Canadian made game. It was not. Mm. I was actually thinking of extraterrestrials. Mm. Not ET, extraterrestrials. Um, that was made in Canada. Oh, gotcha. It actually is really rare as well. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, TM Events, Yay! for resubscribing. Thank you. Hype train. Hype Woo! train. Cheers it's for close. the supercharge here. <laughs> yes. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, including PacRavvg and TM Events, who just resubscribed. They're scrolling down here beside yeah. Tanya. Mm -hmm. Aldefer, Archimede, Arm Armscar, Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari HBR, Pocock, Buck Owens, Burl Lives, Cafe Man 2D, Carlos Madruga, Charles and Check, Charles Williams, Coconut 81, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Dan, if you see Daryl 1970, Drexel, Dark, Book House, Great Offender, Grand Trooper, Roger, Rapper, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC, Kabuto, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings is an invader, Kev Kelly, Lord TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mick Mees, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, Mr. Zarmo, Mr. Fix, Mighty Fonster, Nathan Strong, Backrap VG, Coag RC7, Nope, Kohog, Kohog, 2600, R. then RC70. Uh, rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Broadcaster, 6 Sweet, Smitty B, Spice, for Esther, the D Train, the Welshman, Tiki Dan, K, Track, MD, X, Ken X. If you want to subscribe, hit subscribe. If not, don't. That's fine, too. But follow us, though. Follow us, yes, if you want to know. Uh, when we're playing these games, especially at 10 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. It's probably the earliest show we've ever done. Yeah, and you know what? We picked it because it's bloody hot here. Yes. And for any of you who are out in Europe, you probably feel a little bit of our pain. It's actually Oof. way worse out there than way it is worse. here, but it like is bloody 10 more hot degrees right now. Out there. So. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah. just hovering around 30, plus or minus 2 around yeah, here. Yeah, and about, they're saying like 33, 34 with the Humidex. And then if you go yeah. inland, Oof. it's really hot. Really hot. Yeah. We're by the we're, water. We're so. a little closer to the water, Near so the it's water. not so bad. But yeah. it's it's there's no air conditioning in this room, so you can see this, the sheen And if we did put air body. conditioning, <laughs> you wouldn't hear us. You hear the white noise? That's just fans. If it was air conditioning, you wouldn't be able to hear yeah. us. Or the games. Yeah. It'd be anyway. way too loud. So yeah, that's that's where, where, where we're at. We're ADF. At Okay, that's... Don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, that's higher 20s, I think. Okay, warmish. Because like 77 is 25, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. I just know 100's hot, <laughs> depending on whether My it's alarm dry clock, or... Unfortunately, it, it, it has a temperature sensor, but it has some weird combo of buttons you have to press to get it to flip from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So it's been Defaults giving me the Fahrenheit, and I have to keep looking up on my phone what, you know, 77F is, what 75F is. 38 on a cycling tour, you're crazy. What? Thrust. <laughs> That's dangerous. I hope you drank lots of water and yeah. electrolytes. That would be a very, oh, very hot cycling God. tour. Uh, Ooh. Okay. I think uh, we'll just get into it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I'm so unprepared. Don't have the timer up. Oh no. So talk about cats or something. It's dream cats. Time. Dream time. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> Perfect timing. Mike. Who is that? Mike. Mike. Mike Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, so can you much. hear this little black cat? Squeak. He's so squeaky. What? Perfect timing. What was what 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 do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Oops, sorry. Let's get this stuff out of the way first. 
just What was that you wanted? What? 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 Is it centered? We're looking good. Oh my oh, goodness. I'll have to get the cat cam out. <laughs> get the cat cam out. I need to get some treats in my hand first, kitten. He 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 is a smart cat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't even know if you hit it. I should, I, I should oh, wait. Oh, he did That's okay. That's Undeserved okay. treats. <laughs> He's so precise with it, too. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like, hey, hey, I'm ringing it. And he looks at you. <laughs> no, you have to, you have to hit your own bell. I'm oh, sorry. oh, you have to. Hit your bell. Yeah. Hit your bell. Two bells now, yeah. Good kitty. We've Good got cat. two bells. No, no, for you, not for you. You, you hit your bell. It's it's under you. It's right here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh. It's because uh, we want to give them when they individually hit the bell. Hit yeah. the bell, because then they deserve a treat. Yeah. Service. Ding ding. <laughs> he even leaves his paw in there. I hit it. You see. I hit it. You, you see? see. I hit the bell. <laughs> They're getting out of control. They are. They're really really good at it now. <laughs> Who was that? Was that you? Oh, I know. One more. Well, maybe I'll give you a couple more. You guys are good kitties. You're generally good. Although this cat's favorite habit is splashing water out of glasses right now. It's because oh, it's so hot. We're drinking bad. tons of water, and I just caught him on our at, at our bedside table, sticking his paws into my water glass, and then running all over the bed. And there are wet paw prints all over the. <laughs> He doesn't drink the water. No, he just, he goes, just sticks dip, his paw in and looks goes. Looks at it, <laughs> shakes dip. it, dip, shakes it. <laughs> just a paw. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And we put water in a bowl to Pick see if he bell. gets in. No, Pick he just bell. just dips his paw in. Good kitty. Tent All busy. right, there we go. Oh, different sounding bells. Maybe. That would be cool. Yeah. Because then we would definitely know when we're not looking at it. There is one. One of these bells. We actually have three. That does sound a touch different. Maybe I should use that one. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> we're going to start off with Super Challenge Football. So we're going to go from, uh, we're in 1982, second part, starting off with July. July. 24th up to October 21st. Oh, really? So it ramped up across the year because you've gone through six months already. Yeah. And I mean, that's only the first third. I mean, it's end loaded for Christmas, right? Good that, point. That's, that's Good point. Why. So yeah. most of them would be later in the year. I think there's like almost no releases in January, February in any of these years. Um, so the first uh, first one is Super Challenge Football, July 24th, 1982 by M Network, made by Ken Smith, also known as Football. MT5658. And I do have the cartridge. There it is, a very, very plain, boring M Network cartridge, as uh, you can see. Anybody who has M Network cartridges knows all about those. All they have is text at the end. That's it. it. No. Oh, interesting base, though. It, yeah, it's, it's like it does. Stand it out. looks thinner when it sticks out. That's kind of neat. It does not stack. Oh That's no, not, not football. Good. Actually, this is more arcadey. Yeah, I'm just not great with football rules. <laughs> Time for the Ellen from the peanut gallery. <laughs> That's not how you do it. There we go. That sounds better. Oh, wow. It looks really good, though. Things are getting better. It's a two-player game. At least, I think, for the first game. There might be AI, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's start the timer. And we're off to the races. Okay. So you you pick where your guy's gonna go. I I have I'm obviously. Oh. Pressure button. Oh no I don't. No. Pressure button. No yeah you can only do so many. You can run with it, and you're running backwards, which is great for me. Ah! ah you went backwards. <laughs> backwards is bad. I think you can only move so many, and then you have to stop. Oh. It's like oh you've done your choice. I don't really get it, but okay. Might no. be a direction. You. Oh, you, I have you to. Haven't picked it. Oh, maybe I have to press the button. Oh, why? Weird. We'll figure that out. Oh, you snuck past me. Damn it. Gotcha oh, though. Nice. Has there ever been a football game that plays CFL rules? I don't. I don't know why that. 
Like they always end up where the ball is. That's well, no, weird. I have to end up where the ball is, don't I? Like it doesn't let know. you play unless you end up there. Ugh. Nope, not for you. I don't know if there's any CFL. I don't think there's a big enough market. Okay. No, yeah. No, that's the button. It just. That's weird. You have to end up I, there. Like it's not ready till you go there. So why even I do that? I don't understand. I don't understand what control I have. So now you have the ball. There's something about the controls we're missing, I think. Yeah. What? No. I'm, there must be plays that you're yeah. picking between. When, when you, before you do yeah. that. Yeah. While you do that. Obviously, we're missing a key piece of information That's on okay. this game. We wouldn't be able to play it well anyway. I you know. You have to keep going. I, I'm, you're, 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 ugh. No. I have to go like that? I don't understand. It has to be about the plays. Why are you all your guys? I don't know. Oh, because it's the plays. That's why. You're, like, while you're moving around. I don't understand. No, while you're moving around, you're inputting plays, and we don't know the plays. And even if we did know the plays, we still wouldn't know the How plays. How are we inputting plays, though? By the joystick directions. Really? Up, down, left, oh, right. Oh, I getcha. Oh, I bet it's telling those guys. They send a play to each player. That's what I was just going to oh. say. Yeah, you're like, okay, you guy, go, you go this way. Okay, you go that way. You go that way. You go that way, and I'm ready. Okay, that let's see makes what happens. Sense. Like you're whispering in each each of the guy's ears. I can't throw though. Well, do I throw? That might be like the thing you do. Like you press the button or you go up for your play. Of course, to throw you have to get a guy ahead of you. All right. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand. Can I not throw? And how do I throw? If we look it up, we're going to be out of time. Do you want to look it up? No. Okay. We don't know how to play football anyway. No, I know generally how to play <laughs> football, but I should be able to... Oh, see, now I threw it and, and you caught the ball and went the other <laughs> way. But... Um, well, you have to get one of your guys to catch the ball instead of me. What's going on? I don't understand. You're whispering in each I know, I know. Ear. But I was hitting direction. the button before, and now it doesn't work because you have the ball. So now I don't know what how this works. Like, this is... And I'm stuck. What is going on here? And I'm, I'm the um, only... I'm the only person who can catch up to you? No. 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 I don't understand. Uh, apparently they have been CFL games. Well... Probably after this. Maybe. I wonder if you can, pl if some of the football games you can switch to CFL rules. That would make sense because yeah. it's just the field and the players. Like most of the types of plays are the same, right? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the graphics are great. The number of players on the screen is great because they all stay within their own boundaries. So like, all my oh, come on. I guess all my plays are defensive when you have the ball. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I just, I can't quite figure out what the defensive play is. Ooh, made a bit of ground there. Or maybe there isn't. Oh. Oh. Something happened. What? What? Where's the, oh, why'd the ball go back? It's my turn, that's why. You didn't make your 10, oh. 10 yards. Oh. You only have so much... So many plays to make. Uh, oh, why's your guy running ahead? I'm impressed by the lack of flicker. Yeah, yeah. they're keeping. They're keeping their. Actually. All right. Enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to all the football fans out there. Next one, sneak and peek, which I do have a cartridge for. Well, that seemed like it was barely in there. Sneak and peek. Oh, there have been CFL games. That's really interesting. Great graphics. Okay. Oh, is this... It's hide Can you move? Seek? Are you able to move? Okay, so you hide. I don't look. Where? What? There's multiple rooms in the house. You go hide somewhere. How do I go in rooms? You what go the off heck the is screen? going on? I think you go off the screen, you know, press the button. No. What? No. Oh! 
Oh, it's my turn to go find you. Are you in this room? No. This is a kid's game, by the way, everyone. <laughs> oh. 20 seconds left. Is it just going through this door? Oh. I don't see you. Are you behind the house? I think it's very cute that you, um... Not there. Is there... Not there. What? Where are you? You behind the couch? How do I find you? I thought you have, like, your head poking out or something. When, uh... When you're found? When you're found. Hey, Danny VC! <clears throat> do I have to, like, press... Oh, wait, wait, in this room. Do I have to, like, press the button to find you? Oh, you can go in a closet, too? Music's a bit much. <laughs> oh, there's two bedrooms. We used to play this all the time in high school. <laughs> Your castle school. says. Oh, I have to check this closet too. Nope. Now that moon moves. Oh, as time passes? And somebody asked Dude. in the forums once, does the moon make it all the way across the screen? And it takes hours for that moon to get across mm -hmm. and i did it i put on i don't know where you were you were behind the couch mm -hmm. how come i i swear i, I don't pressed know how on you, it. i don't know exactly how you find people do you push up maybe or okay again oh you have to hide again yeah how come i don't get to close your eyes okay what you hid what is going on did you hide no what is going no don't look! I can't move when I'm... What is going on? This is so bizarre. I don't quite get... how this works. Anyone? Anyone? Like, nothing's happening. I don't even know how I hid behind the couch the first time. Oh. It just, he just all of a sudden hid behind the couch. Maybe you just pick a room and uh, that's where you hide. Any, oh. Okay, I hid. Okay. Uh, are you behind the couch? When I walk around, is that? <laughs> is that his hand? <laughs> Uh, oh my! Oh, oh my! my. <laughs> yeah, it, it's his That's other not, arm. <laughs> it's, it's not in the best. I'm coming it's to get you, Tanya. Coming to get you. This is the problem with some of the more rare games. Chat can't advise on how to play because we haven't played. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, found you in the closet. Yes. Did you? Why wouldn't it show both of us mm. when I find you? That's weird. Interesting. No. Oh. Now it's my turn because I okay. found you. Okay, close my eyes then. It's very, like, figuring out how to hide. I think you have to hit the object from a certain location or angle to get it to hide. Okay, yep. You Did just you, Were you able to? Yep. Yeah, you have to do it in a certain way. You have to, like, go around yes. the couch on a certain angle. Yeah. Are you, are you here? That is a very, very uh, unfortunately placed arm. <laughs> Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Exactly. Aww. No, I'll wait till you find me. You only have seven seconds left, so. I guess it's based on the amount of time I took to hide. Because the first time oh, it was. A, first true. time it gave me a lot of time yeah, to find because... you. Yeah, because. You only have five seconds. Well, they're not seconds. They're not really seconds. Why did they choose Camp Town Roses? <laughs> Because it's free? Nope, nope. I've clicked on everything, but I'm not sure if I'm I'm approaching things in the right way. No idea. Nope. Where I was you? behind the house on the left hand side. Ah Okay. Very funny. That was uh, <laughs> released August first, nineteen eighty two by US Games. It's VC one thousand and two by Gary Kitchen. Nice. And Paul Wilson. Nice. Next one is Word Zapper. This 
is a kids game as well. I guess uh, VidTech was into kids games. Yep. I did play this at my friend's house. So this doesn't appear to be looping. Do you want it to loop? No, I stopped it be okay. because I wanted to go a little further with um, the last game. Okay. Because I wanted you to find me. Okay. I just wasn't sure if uh, you would... It's couch compliant. Is it? Or, yep. So, it gives me the word. Oops. There we go. I believe that's a race, or is it like oh. a gimme? Like, you can shoot those things, I believe. And then, oh, it's an enter, maybe. It's been uh, 40 years. Oh, that's enter. Yeah. So you have to spell ah. things. Do you have to uh, dodge the stuff? I don't think you die. Oh, what was it? Flame. Oh, flame. Oh, you lose time? No. No, he, he, you do lose time if you hit those things. Not a lot, but a little bit. No, the time's counting down normally. Watch, I'll hit them. Boom, boom, oh. boom. No, not so losing what, time. what is the point of those things then? It's a kid's game. They're, just to it's look just cool? just for fun. Fair enough. Um, I'm guessing on different levels you do lose time. Oh, maybe. This is like the easiest level. And you probably have less time to look at the word on higher levels. Mm. So let's, do you have to spell the word in order? Oh, well that is a good question. So let's go to a different level. Mm, they knock you around and mess up your aim? Not really. Do they knock you around? They knock you me around, yeah. Oh, okay. So then they, they are a bit of an obstruction. There are no levels. Levels are, oh, there we go. You can only do them at certain points. Let's do game. Learning is fun. Oh, S-C-F-N. Okay, let's try to spell it out of order. Uh, N. Nope. No. Oh, now what happens? Because now I've got rid of it. S. Do I lose points? No. Oh, it comes back. Or it can just destroy every letter. Oh, you've got them all. Yeah, that's true. You're just running out of time. Knock it. There you go. Now, do you get points for remaining time? Or is it just like, yeah, it's a fun game. So you can shoot to the side, too. EV something. F-U-C. <laughs> E-V-F-U-C. There's a chance that this could spell naughty words. <laughs> E-V. Because it almost did. But the, all the letters come back after it loops. I was thinking, oh, the letters go away. Ah, C! <laughs> and if you do the enter too early, it doesn't matter. It comes back. Oh, it doesn't. What? What do I do? What do I do? Where's the enter? I'm gonna, lost. I'm gonna do all the letters then. Because it doesn't make any sense. Maybe I do have to get all the letters. There it is. Oh, what? Yay. What? What? How come? Oh, you... yeah. No, Gato. No, it's not. I bet you can't <laughs> shoot the wrong ones. Oh, sorry. Distracted. Oh, no, it's, it's, no, you don't you're, you're about to die, so. Oh. You had three seconds left. Oh, okay. Are you try, it, trying a different, different yeah. one? Yeah. As it gets itself ready, as it's uh, animation. Game 14! Right. Oh my Whoa. gosh. Whoa! Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I pre played this at my friend's house. Uh, it was a passing curiosity. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, he had this game. I don't know. It was really weird. Oh, oh you missed it. Oh, no. When it gives you the enter. Because it didn't Maybe you have to kill some of the, uh, oh, some some of the, the guys enemies. first? I Maybe. 
I think the levels in which you get la random letters might actually be harder. Yes, it is harder. I Y H V C. Like that's only five letters. Six letters would be much harder. So I the high, the art. This would be a decent I kids game for memorization. H Hold on. So this is uh, by U.S. Games, VC uh, 1003, by Will IV, Will, Will the Fourth, and Henry. I have a note that it's also known as Big Bird ABC, but I'm not so sure about that. There we go. Woo! Okay. Woo! Next one up is Berserk, a game we're all familiar with. Yay! I mean, I, I was familiar with Orbis oh. after The teacher says, turn the difficulty stay, then it's a real challenge. Oh, well, okay. we didn't get that chance. <laughs> you can play it at home. <laughs> yeah. Berserk. Oh, Berserk. do you want to do you want to do this one? No, you play first. All right. Now this is a great home conversion. Oh, don't do they don't shoot back in the first round, do they? No, they give you a gimme in the first round. Good. Uh, released August 8th, 1982 by Atari. CX2650, made by Dan Hitchens. Ah, ah. Now, um, I asked, I post these in the Atari Age forums beforehand, which games we're going to play, and uh, Nathan Strump said, Berserk really impressed me as Atari's closest yet arcade port on the 2600. And Mega Mania was a great shooter, but I'm giving it to Pitfall. And these are other games that we're going to be playing today. Today? Yeah. Pitfall came out. Yeah. And uh, 2600 says, Berserk was one from the list. Great fun exploring from room to room, blasting robots, trying to get a personal best. Is this the one with the crazy, ah, uh, bouncy face? Or yeah. that's uh, the yeah. other one? No, if you... Uh, I want to uh, see him. Dilly dally long What's enough. his name? What's his name? I've always Bouncing seen... Otto? Crazy Otto. Cr uh, Otto. 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 Oh, come on. Uh, Vitoko says, I think that the only games I played from those years were Star Raiders and Berserk. I had fun with both. And Orange808 says, Berserk is great too. It's still fun to dodge bullets by letting them pass through your head. Neck. Oh, Rears the neck. neck, yeah. This is just big enough. You have to be, they have to shoot you horizontally, though. Especially in the lower levels. You can probably line that up pretty well. Mm -hmm. Evil Auto. Evil Auto. Oh, got to go to game three for the Evil Auto. Oh, really? There you go. Game okay. three. Has to be a harder level. Yeah. And I love how they turn into smiley faces as they explode. They're like inverse oh, evil autos. They do. They're <gasps> inverse evil autos. Oh, that's so. Ah! There he is. <laughs> so they just reused ah! the graphics from True. evil auto for the explosion. Hey, if you only have 4K, what do you do? I'm, I'm guessing this is 4K. It seems like a 4K game. Oh, he's coming for you. Whoa, Ooh. that was really close. That was not. Um, it... Not to be confused with his cousin, Crazy Eddie. Crazy Eddie. Evil auto. Oh my god, Evil Auto comes really quickly. Also, Crazy Auto, which became Ms. Ms. Pac-Man. Ah, uh, yes. Lots of autos. Chicken, fight like a robot. Yeah, no voices in this one. Oh, true. I mean, that was corrected with Daryl Spice Jr.'s version, version yes. which is excellent. And also includes uh, Frenzy, which is kind of the sequel to the Giz game. Ah! Great zapping. It is. I'm not the greatest at this game, but I do really like it. There's just something so... Um, What's so satisfying with the way they explode? And it's... And it's... No! Much, go the right way! <laughs> it's a lot like Ro ah, Robotron, I run, find. Run, run, run. It, yes. It throws you in the middle. Yeah, not my greatest, it's, but it's okay. <laughs> and it's couch compliant. Uh, it's so quirky and just... Oh my god! Yeah, you can't touch walls. Um, <laughs> um, oh, what do I want to say? Just unique. It's such a unique game. And then the, the there's nothing more terrifying than that stupid happy face coming for you. <laughs> and increasing and bouncing speed. And the fact and that it's happy. It, it, it is just weirdly just... We ah, look at it go! <gasps> uh, 
I said. It's super fast, Evil I stayed Otto. too long. I think I have yeah. to hang out by the door. Oh, you have to, you have to. Ah, I was trying to get through my neck. You have to go really fast. That was a terrible game. <laughs> Are you, don't, don't stay away from that little black cat. Is the cable? Yeah, I was <sighs> playing with it. Not oh. chewing it, but playing it. Yeah, you kind of have to head for the exit as soon as possible. You just have to kind of run hang in around one there. direction, yeah. Ah! So I dangerous. do find you start so close to them. You do sometimes. It's very random. Like this room only has three. Yeah, random number. Otto is like Rover off the prisoner, but smiling. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it, I didn't know it had a name. In the Rover prison. on the prisoner. Yeah, I, the I only bouncing the ball. bouncing ball. That's exactly what it is. You die. Doesn't he get faster, or is that just the arcade game? If you oh, shoot him. Oh my god, he was fast in my uh, last game. Oh, he was super fast, but I thought if you hit him, didn't he get mad and I get faster? So but maybe that's different a different not in this version. Oh. Yeah, it might to. be. He seems to start version. really fast. Go next to life. Yay. Okay. Next game. I'd like to play this more. Next game is another game I played at my friend's house that he had and he didn't have the instructions for some reason or we didn't read them. <laughs> Probably so, little column A, little column B. It was always bizarre to me, but it has great graphics. Is so this... it's Riddle of the Sphinx. Oh my gosh. So you have to head up. Oh my. So avoid the bullets, avoid those guys, avoid the scorpions. Can you shoot them? Yep. Because um, in this game you have health and you also have thirst. So what um, am I supposed so to do? So you have to... Nope. Okay. And when you get hit, you get slower, and you don't want that. Um, you can trade with people, or you can get things from people. What people? Like that guy standing there. Oh. I believe. I did bring up the instructions, because I didn't. There's a lot to this, and it actually uses yeah, two joysticks. Yeah, you do get stuff. Um, and one of them is like this guy. thirst, so I just gave you some. Nope. Oh, Anubis. What, what, what does... Just run past him. Okay. He's, he's a god. Don't touch him. He will hurt you badly. You need instructions for this, oh. Russ says. Yes, you do. And they're really long. But we'll just kind of show it off. You know this game, though. I know about it. Oh. I played it, but I did not have instructions when I was a kid. Um, you and get stuff, obviously. Yeah. And I can trigger those. Oh, I didn't need to. That was a, like a leaf. I feel like a healing thing. And also, you can go to another screen when it's safe time. Ah! 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 Oh. I'm getting oh, hit! Now you've, you've injured. Ah. You're one injured and you have ten. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> I think it's points. Oh. points? No. Thirst. Thirst level. Who cares about points? We'll keep it on that. With that screen. Go to the oasis. Yeah, oh. so look for an oasis with water. These guys move really ah, slowly. Thirst points. Let's see if I can fix that. Nope. What's that? Do I shoot that? Do I go there? Uh, uh, go to it. It's not moving, so obviously it's not a threat. Yay, oh. you got a key. Ah! Let's use the key. Oh. Oh, oh. That. is that an oasis there? Uh, yes, yes. There you go. Now you're not thirsty anymore. Went back to zero. Uh, do I have to kill a certain number of these guys, or? A neighbor kid had this one. I remember it was very complex. If I remember, there are variations. Yeah, there's three variations to it. Uh. Oh, you're injured by one. Yeah, he got me. Oh, now you're injured even more. Let's try and use the pot. Oh, that's thirst. And it he healed you as well. Ah. Ooh, what's this? This looks like something I need to get to. Yeah, you're throwing rocks. Well, you have the key, so let me use the key. Go right to the door. No. No? no? Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, almost. It's a healing leaf. Oh, more stuff. Yeah, I remember just getting things, and I don't remember if we figured out that you use the second joystick or not. Oh. I'm thirsty. Oh. I'm gonna use this. Now you're not thirsty. I oh, can you, you can con control with the second joystick. Oh yeah, you didn't notice I was doing. Well, that? no, I you were using doing it down below. Ugh. Okay. Oh, Oasis. I mean, you're not super thirsty. Oh, you missed the oasis. No, you can go back. Oh, you can. Oh, now you're good. Just, you can go backwards. It's, so it's a pretty complex game. Like, this is... And, and I'm not sure what the things do, you know? Well... Uh, oh, what's this thing? instructions, but we only have 11 seconds. It's like a seconds. guy on a oh, skateboard. Touch her. Who? Her? Yes. Ah, you have an on canal. Ah, Anubis. Maybe you uh, can. Go, maybe you can now go to the uh, place. Okay. Well, that's uh, interesting. I, cool I like thing. it. I wish I knew more about how it works. <laughs> Riddle of the Sphinx. Riddle of the Sphinx. Now it's King Kong, which I do not have. That's a more rarer game. So Riddle of the Sphinx was released by Magic, August eighth, nineteen eighty-two, made by Rob Phillip and Bob Smith. Uh, King Kong. August 12th, 1982, by Tiger Vision. I don't think I have any Tiger Vision games. Mm. Uh, made by Carl T. Olinger. So, I have no idea how to play this. Oh, he's going up to the top. A little bit of animation. Very nice. Multicolored sprites. Guy moves a little slow. Okay, He's it's extremely slow. A huge ripoff of Donkey Kong. That's what we're seeing. Those are barrels, more like little fiddly things with antennas. Well, this, this looks like a mildly safe spot. Yep. I think you have to jump over that. You have to make it up to the top and rescue her. Oh God. Oh, you can't jump over them. You definitely can't jump high enough. Good Lord, I. This is. No, you yeah, can that... jump on them, but it's really narrow. Uh, yeah, it's randomized where they go down the ladder. Oh, you can jump. Okay. If I remember correctly, the only game with a white background. Yeah, that was unusual, the last game. You don't see a lot of white backgrounds. He's down at the bottom now. That's oh, weird. Oh, well, that's fine. That's actually even better. <gasps> They're going up! Oh, <laughs> they, they move faster directions. than you, and you're so slow. <laughs> Two you guys really left. slow. Oh my god! Birthday cupcakes. Look how look look. It could be. Yeah, Actually, he's... jumping is faster. Cool jumping. They do look like cupcakes. <laughs> Multi-layered colored cupcakes. They always go down the holes. Yeah. So when they go down the ladders, safe. it's randomized whether they go left or right. Because I was thinking, oh, they keep going and they don't always go down the ladders. They sometimes go down the ladders. And they sometimes go down the holes. Like that guy didn't go down. The oh, oh, boy. Oh, you're lucky there. Oh, my God. Now they're coming back up. No! Oh, no! That's interesting. Yeah. They can. They're kind of mindless. Because that guy didn't go for you, he went up the ladder. Yeah. Go up. Come but on. I know why the enemy moves to the bottom. It's so that there's no flicker. Because they would want to have the dropping birthday cakes. Uh, and you <laughs> on the same line. So that's, that's some. Oh, he didn't. My goodness, I don't know how that worked. <laughs> he didn't go down the hole. I thought it was automatic they go down the hole, but he didn't. King Kong is only slightly bigger than Jessica Lange. <laughs> what? At the top of the screen? Yeah. You're... What? What happened? He, he's he's he jumped me a... up a level. So Jumping over him launched me off. So well, you, you gotta try that. Off of... you, you gotta try that. You can launch off of them. It looks like it. That's actually really good. Oh, uh, restart. Yeah, it looks like that was your last life. Uh, interesting animation at the beginning. It's pretty 
cute, actually. Yeah, yeah. That ledge seems to be the hardest. I, I want to see this this skyrocketing off the. Um, so you can't do it on your own. You have to do it the off. The oil, of one. the the oil drum that's on fire, or <laughs> what is it? The Dalek? What is that? From the uh, <laughs> the kinda, Dalek. Yeah. Kind of looks like a Dalek. The other ones look like um, happy cupcakes. Happy <laughs> cupcakes. So how did you do it? You kind of jumped over one mm -hmm. and launched yourself off. He oh, jumps. Oh my he, god! He you skyrockets can. you a level. Ah! Uh, I jumped too late on yeah. that one. Interesting, you gotta use those guys. Hyperactive pepper mill. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh, you can jump backwards. You see that? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Just like a Mario Brothers. You do a backwards, backwards mm -hmm. jump. Not Super Mario Brothers, the original one. Mario Brothers, yeah. yeah. I wonder if I can jump up a ladder. Our, nope. our, um, our uh, followers, uh, know the difference between Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers. Just wanted to be clear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I really want to make it to the top. I really, really want to just once. Oh my goodness, because now they're going back, they're going up now. Oh, well that guy's going up, so I don't have to worry about him. But I do have yeah. to worry about him. Oh my goodness, it, you it's... You really jump through those guys. very little hitbox, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, can I, I have to go up the ladder. I think I'm going to make it. Yay! Do you want to see the second level? We'll just see the second level. We'll see level. if it changes or you have to do the same thing. No, you have to no. do exactly the it's same thing. It's probably just thing. harder. Okay. One screen only for All this. Right, that's fine. They make this screen difficult so you don't have to make a second screen. Yes. Yes. Uh, next one's Lock and Chase. Yay! By a terrible, unstackable M Network. Unstackable. They are unstackable. Oh, that does not break. Doesn't look right at all. There's no maze. That's better. Okay, lock and chase. Yes, it's super cool. I love this game. Okay. August nineteenth, nineteen eighty-two. M Network by Bruce Pedersen. Let me reset. First. Is it a four-person game? Nope. It's one. There are four enemies. Press the button. Eat all the dots. Avoid the guys. You can put uh, bombs. Doors behind you to block you in those oh. horizontal spaces. Horizontal spaces. Yeah. See where the, all the lines are? You can put them there. And and if they block you, can they go through them or do, nope. are they temporary? They're temporary and you block them out. Um, and there's bonuses in the middle that come up. Like that. There you go. Ah, uh, okay. Death I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. It's Pac-Man-ish, but uh, with some fun twists where you can defensively play. It's hard, though. It's only on the horizontal, right? Ah, yep. go to the right. You can't go through them either. No. Very clever use of missiles here. Yes. Uh, the guys are made of... Missiles. I don't think you'll oh, find three guys on one line. So it's you. You're one of the uh, player characters. And... Only two of the enemies are on one line at a time, and they're the other player character and a missile. Ah! <laughs> and I believe, oh, very good and the this. rest is play field. Yeah, I mean, it's different than Pac-Man, so you have to learn the new rules of it. Chalcedony Mouse says, what? here's wild there. Hmm. You press the button, right? It's usually yeah, behind but it you, I find. Yeah, but it doesn't really follow its own rules all that well. Ugh. Oh, close. I should be blocking these guys. Didn't mean to go there, but that's okay. Uh, no! Uh, Why are you being <laughs> such No pain? flashing. Yeah, no flashing at all. Pain in the butt. I'm sure there is some method to lock people behind you. You can do it. Just go for it. Oh, I gotta get out the door! Oh! Brutal! They don't seem to be able to they turn around. They don't turn around, so yeah. yeah, you can follow them. Yay! Ooh! An, an unusual M Network game in that people don't resemble the Intellivision Running Man. Yeah! Mmm, yes. Because this is an Intellivision game, originally. Oh, you only get one door. Ah, oh, that screwed me. 
You only get one door at a time. I thought you could put multiple. The door looks like yeah, it's on a separate me. line you go. than you. Play you. This more. So what was that done by? Is that not done by Playfield? Well, it, it seems to be on the same line as the pellets that you're picking up, or the gold, or whatever it's supposed to be. Mm, it's just... is it? Yeah, the bonuses are just in the middle. And usually you can't get there in time. No, it's like <laughs> the four guys. Ah, damn it's it, a shame I you can't to go to the right. destroy uh, destroy them in any way. But oh, see, so you did two. But the last time I did it, oh, maybe I just um. The oh, timing. they they the timing. Yeah, they do disappear pretty quick. Damn it. Mm. It's because there's. <sighs> it's a cool game, though. You can see why you liked it. Oh yeah. I did like this. Yay! A lot. Bonus! Yay! It kind of paused them and me for a second. There's two different ones. I can't remember what the other one does. I think it pauses them for a while. Let's try and get it. Nice. Pac Pac oh, very, very brief though. <laughs> very like it just gets you away. Yeah, those side doors are really <clears throat> what you <clears throat> have to. <clears throat> Oh, you're so lucky he went that way. Yeah, you get a tiny head start. Yeah. That's it. It, it can be enough, though. Yeah. Nope. <sighs> Don't. <laughs> just get out. Get out! Run for get it! Get out! Oh, uh, we can talk about our movie that we saw yesterday. Oh, if yes. If you want to. Yep. Uh, no spoilers, because it's no, no, fairly no. new, so... Yeah. No, uh, in all the horrible heat, um, we decided, I'm like, oh, let's go to a movie in the afternoon because of, you know, freezing cold air conditioning. In theaters, so. and, and so we went to see Nope. Yes, we did. By Jordan Peele, yep. which generally enjoyed. I thought it was pretty good. Yep, yeah, um, generally enjoyed. Lots of clever things in it. Lots of really like, clever like ideas. per usual. And uh, it's uh, a good one. If you like, if you want, like, a good summer movie, I think it's a good summer movie to go and see. If yep. you like something that's more on the kind of... Horror action-y uh, kind of edge. It's not quite horror. It's more sci-fi. Sci-fi action. action. We enjoyed it. Yep. It's very good. A tiny bit of horror. Tiny bit. I, well, I mean, in the in the way that you know, horrible things happen, but yeah, it's it's not a horror film. I wouldn't call it that. Next one is Cosmic Swarm. It was good which though. Which I do not have for. <sighs> uh, which is a comma vid game. Uh, Cosmic Swarm, August 20th, 1982, by Comavid. CM003, made by John Bronstein, also known as Ant Party. Ant Party, I see the... Shoot those ants, they're having a party. Get the dots, maybe. Yep. Nope. Nope, nope. okay, I, that, that was didn't... bad. Avoid the dots. They're making a party. Oh Shoot the dots. Are you constantly Why? rotating? Yeah, I, I, I don't... I don't know what's going on with the rotation. You, oh, you only rotate. turn when you when you shoot. Shoot and move for it rotates you. Ah. You have to hold the button to to rotate. Okay. Asteroid ship. Yes. It's kind of weird. I don't know if I like it. And you can't <laughs> and you can't shoot the the the, the um, things they leave behind. Oh, they're filling up the screen. Oh my god, this is. No, don't run into those. You lose the ship. Oh, oh, was that a good thing? Another ship's coming down. Nope. I don't know what that is. That. Shoot it. No. No, we won't. I don't know what we'll that is. Till next time. I tried to shoot it. Didn't no. I shoot it? I no. shot it. Did you? Yeah. Didn't do anything. Are they spelling a word? <laughs> so you're progressing. Oh, levels. when they're red, you can. The the the. Oh. Only turning when you hold the pop, the button is really bizarre. Oh, it was red for a second. For a very brief second. Wonder how. I think if you shoot them before they deposit their their things, it gets red. Oh my god, this turning and shooting thing is not enjoyable. What happened? Ran it's out the of end. time. I think I ran out of time. I didn't die. Did I? Can I try. Yeah. Uh, the turning. Only turning when you hold the button. Not a fan of. Oh, 
Yeah, it's almost better to not turn and just go straight up. Yep. So don't hold the button. <laughs> then you can get rid of the red ones if you don't. Yeah. Oh, ran too close to them. Yeah. I do not recommend it. Yeah, you just don't move when you shoot. You just line up and you shoot. Yeah, but I'm sure you kind of need to, like, you need to turn to get that guy. You could have gotten that guy if you turned, Oops. but then you have to turn back, which is, ugh, I don't like it. Ah, it's easy to get used to. I don't know what that thing is. Nice. Anyone? Anyone? Oh, it ran away. Oh, it's back. Let's see. Oh! Oh, I ran into it, though. Oh, no. Party's still on, Dr. Moo Cows. <laughs> Party's on. And yeah, party. That's right, ship. Yeah. It is. Ah. Yeah, the controls are a little, a little weird. I'm sure with some extended play, you would get used to it, but. Uh, yeah, I'm used to it. The turning? Yeah, you just oh. turn and position yourself, and then you move around and you stop moving when you want to shoot. Yeah. If you move while you shoot, you start turning. I know, and, and that's frustrating. You have to your movements have to be very deliberate in that case. Oh. Getting a bit getting a bit busy this with these ants. Bringing food? Ah! Oh my god, he goes after you after a while. What? Oh my god, I think I did that last time. You did, but can you get out of the way of it, or do you just not? Well, I think I'm going to shoot at an angle this next oh, time. Oh, maybe, because it Rather seems to shoot downwards. On. Yeah. They're cosmic ants, yes. Ooh. So do the ants have eight legs? If not, what's the two things on their backside? Uh, oh, they're just proboscis, I don't know. <laughs> they're not I, I took I took the entomology in university, but... Oh, god damn it! Be damned if You're I remember much from it. it. It was fun. It was a very fun course. Killing bugs. Yeah, killing we did. Bugs. We did mount and kill bugs. It's very true. Stop running into it. <laughs> They're oh. earwigs. Yeah, they oh. do look a little bit like earwigs. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this guy and Although not they do below. call it ant party, but uh, yeah. No, it's game over. Oh, so you can't shoot that. No. Nope. Okay, well now we know. <laughs> it's a pretty cool concept game, especially with the controls. Um, next one is Room of Doom, also by Calm of Id, which I do not have either. Mm. Um, August 20th, 1982, uh, CM004, Irwin Gaines. Mm -hmm. Sorry, which one? Room of Doom. Room of Doom. I was reading the chat, so... Ah, yeah, weird game. Weird, but uh, innovative way to turn. Room of Doom. Has it started? I'm confused. Are you, are you moving? Uh, are you moving something? I, I shooting. Am I moving? That's a good question. Well, don't. What is going on? I, I don't seem to control it. Well, don't press anything and see if it does move still. Yeah, so you're not doing anything. Okay. Game one. Weird. Not two joysticks. Is this a paddle game? No, I don't have it listed. There's very few paddle games mm. now. Okay, there we go. I have to do it twice. I had to reset twice? Crazy. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Well, you're getting points for shooting that. Am I? Oh, yeah. that's... You got 50 each time. Do I have to shoot these? Maybe shoot them as the, ah, as the doors open, shoot them. Because they have to. Them. Oh come on! Stop pulling my shot. Because they're unprotected as they shoot. Shoot the guys, Thrust says. Oh, oh, almost. As they send out their uh, tiny lizard. Yeah, got one. It's a cute lizard. It's a cute lizard. Yeah, it's the pet lizard. Ah! Oh. Doom room, doom. Nice. That's cool. It rotates between the score and room doom. I should say room of. It definitely has enough digits to do room of. Oh, does the door not open when you're near him? It's like, oh, you're too close. Maybe. Oh. Oh, oh. I could just try to run it. Dr. Mookow says, you see, you're in a room, and you're doomed to play it for at least three more minutes. <laughs> 
it's true. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, oh, so close. I hate the pulling of the shots. Well, just... it means you can shoot again quickly rather than wait. No, but it also means uh, you pull a shot before it hits. Because you think it's... Oh, I get it. Tiny Godzilla is cool. Yeah, he's got a good look to him. You really have to anticipate the door opening to shoot it. Oh, come on! That was so close. The vertical barriers are interesting. There's like an edge to oh, it, got like a vibrating edge. So you can see on the right-hand side, the openings. Oh, so close. It's like they're turning on and off an object. Not sure what's going on there. One more to go. In the room no of doom. Lives, we have four seconds. Ah. Three seconds. Two. Last chance. Nice. I got him. Just made it. What is this? Oh no, there's too many. <laughs> oh my god. Very cool concept. I like it. Oh, there's a lot of shot. One minute, you wanna give it a go? Yep. Oh, oh. Nice yeah, love. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. You can't be too close to them. Oh no, it's... Okay. Game three? Oh, you have to press it twice. There you go. I like the uh, lizard, though. It's pretty cute. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah. It's all about anticipating when the, how the door opens and closes. It's not that hard. Well, I'm, at the higher level when there's more, it's just so much dodging, right? As soon as it opens, you have to fire yeah. in anticipation. Just as it's opening. Yeah. And then you can get it. Yeah. Once you time that, it's not that hard. But, no. um, Come on. You go. Yeah, good, good job. Thank you. I like it. It's fun. I like this it's game. A fun little concept. I would buy this on cartridge. Put it on my to-buy list. Big lizard in my backyard. <laughs> Tiny Godzilla is cool, yes. Tiny Godzilla. I don't know what that is. It looks like a gigantic insect, so. I wanna see how this game gets harder. Probably the shots just get faster. The enemy coming after you I, gets faster. You could put another guy on the top row. Maybe you could have uh, four. No, you can't. No? Uh, the top ooh. and bottom rows? No, actually you could. You could double them up with a second player character. Anyway. Because right now they're just tripling up one of them. So they could put six across the top and bottom. Are you... Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'll It'd be nice to see it. It'd be a fun one to play. Next one's Firefighter. Room of Doom, RC70. Room of Doom. Which I do have. There you go. Magic. It's going to be colorful. Or not. Yeah. Rescue those people! What am, I, what am I supposed to do? Um, put out fires. Actually, I don't know. I haven't played this much. Um, August 22nd, 1982 by Magic uh, by Brad Stewart, also known as Firefighters. So you have to, I know you have to put out the fires and you have to rescue the people. So, oh, there's the ladder, which is controlled left and right, I think. There you go. I don't understand. Well, Left and right? Or up and down. There you go. Use the ladder. Use the ladder! How do I use the ladder? I don't know. So now go to the ladder and jump, go up the ladder because you put out the fire. Oh. oh! No, jump on it and go up. Okay. So they end up on the bottom floor. So I guess you have put out the fires until they get they to the bottom floor. They come to the bottom floor. floor and then you extend the ladder. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, it's just up and down. I was pushing the button, but the, the button is for the ladder. The fire animation is really good. Oh. And the, the the fire truck is actually incredible. It's, um... There you go. Gotcha. So you can put that ladder on higher levels. Yeah, if you need to, I guess. 
So you could go up to the second floor. Or third. And the timer counts up, so it's like how quickly you can rescue the person as well. And the fire's out. Oh, no! Some embers! But... Come. Get, come on. Yep. So it doesn't matter. So you can let the building burn. It's all about the people. Oh. wonder how high the ladder can go. If I remember right, it gets more frantic later. Surprise. And you'll have to go to higher levels. Okay. So it's like it's too fast of a spreading fire and you're just trying to do as best no, as no, you can. No, no, he's down to the bottom. But once the fire's out, it's out. It seems. Uh, it does seem to, to smolder back up, but... Mm. Interesting. Guy keeps going to burning buildings over and over again. I know. I bet he's starting the fires. He just likes being uh, carried in your arms. Maybe. <laughs> So do you have to retract it all the way to yeah. angle it? Nice. Kind of getting the hang of it. Yeah. Do you want to play? Sure. Next round? The blue bar thing left of the timer means something. Maybe how much water? Oh, possibly. So, so then hold the button and extend the ramp. You have oh, to extend have to the ramp. Of it. Hold the button. Yeah, there you go. You can't do it while you're no, on No, you can't. And then the guy Come on, comes dude. to you. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what the blue bar means. Variations? There might be variations. Yeah, if you extend it too far, it doesn't... There you go. Easy. Oh, Easy that, peasy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we only have a minute left. That's we'll... all good. We'll We've showed it variations. off. Oh. Oh, he's on the roof. Interesting. Easy peasy. <laughs> I guess it just means if it gets out of control. Come on, guy. Yeah, the roof is like the limit. Yeah, if it gets to the roof, you're done. So but this would be harder, I guess. Harder because you don't have as much time to do it. Yeah. The water is cool, like all... I like the water, yeah. I was... Everything about this is really nice looking. Like the building is amazing and it's up on like some grass and the fire truck, obviously that's one of the most detailed graphics. It's really Biggest nice. graphics so far. It looks like an old school like volunteer fire truck, you know? Yeah. Uh, so next one is Star Raiders, which we have to plug in this control pad, which I'll be controlling in the second port. Star Raiders. How are we on the list? Uh, I will look in a second. I'm just curious. I can feel the heat rising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eat some water. No tree guy. Okay, Star Raiders, August 22nd, 1982 by Atari, using video touchpad. Mm. Uh, CX-2660 by Carla Maninsky. Okay. Need my overlay printout. This one. I wanted to see that. Thank you. Now we'll reset the time because this is uh, a little bit longer. Game. Okay. You have the joystick. Which one is... Oh, joystick? I thought it was the touchpad. It's both. Okay. Shoot the baddies. Shoot the baddies. Shoot those baddies. Shoot me? Shoot the baddies. Have we started? Yep. Where are the baddies? So there's energy. They're on your radar there. Where is the ra I don't... I don't know. Oh. Oh. Uh, red... 
There they are. Oh my goodness. I, I'm not a fan of these games. I find them so hard to control. So hard to control, like... I'm dead? I'm guessing? Uh, not I'm yet. I'm dead, or is the red just, oh, they're in proximity? Is that a proximity alarm? Oh, yes. It's distance. Like, you have to fly to them. I... My friend had this one as well. Star Raiders. Where is what the colors mean? Red means behind you. Oh, Green wonderful. means front and out of range. Blue is visible and in range. So visible and in range. So they're out of range right now, so you That's have to fly fine. to them. I'm trying to do it based on the radar. Now they're behind you. You, you can't exactly turn around. They just end up behind you. Have you played this game before? Yes. Not for... A long time? Decades. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cool looking. Yeah. Ugh. My goodness. I'm trying to go off the... Have I killed any of them? I have no idea. I don't think I have. Not no. a single one. I think there's still two left. They're behind me now. It's not working. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Got to the a gal dock. I don't. Uh. Let's go to the galaxy map. Oh, there you go. Okay, so move the ship. Let's go there. This is the, not the kind of game you can just pick up and play. No, right? it's not. But we can show it off. Unfortunately. Like, you can see they're in front of you on the radar. I don't know how to... Like, the radar, I don't know how to read. Oh, oh, one was just there. Oh, almost. Like, is there a way to slow down? No, I think it's just one button for firing and up, down, left, right for moving. Lost your targeting crosshairs. Like, I don't know how to... They just come at you. Hit one? They hit me. They're hitting you. No clue. I don't think you've hit one. I, I have no clue. Do you want to play this? Sure. You'll have to do this. I don't... Yeah. Four of you, gal view, hyper warp. Computer on off, shields on off. Okay. Uh, oh. Now I'm hitting them. Isn't that a touchpad game? Well, yeah, we've got a touchpad. Plugged in. Shoot that not TIE fighter, exactly. Mm, wait, do they do early H move? Oh. Mm. Don't know. They're talking about programming now. So they're in front of you, but then you can't see them. Did you get one? Yeah, I've been getting them. Have I been? I... I, I just, I honestly, it's impossible to tell. See, I got one there. It flashes red? No, they're behind you when it's red. Yeah. T, is that the number of things you have to kill? No, uh, there's, there's tons in your radar, though. Yeah, more to kill. They're behind me. Energy 140. So you have to dock at a certain point, right? I think Star Master and Phaser Patrol did this type of game better. Agreed, oh, especially Star Master. Oh, my targeting hairs are gone. Should I want to go back to the map? Yeah, we'll go dock. Oop. Oh, you're already at the dock. <laughs> uh, my rank is cook. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely not a game you can play easily without... There we go. <laughs> so there are, like, the galactic map. Use the touchpad. Yeah. And I can warp to it. And then you dock. Somehow. Yeah, it is a more complex game. You can't do it in five minutes. Yeah. I, I had no idea if I was actually hitting anything. The other ones are better. Yeah. The other, versions I, I, of other, this. People, other people are saying Star Master and Phaser Patrol did this type of game better. Next one's Threshold by Tiger Vision. 
which I don't have cartridges for. Some of the rarer ones I don't have cartridges for. Fair enough. Touch pad? Yeah, we'll just swap that out next time. Uh, which one? Threshold. By Warren Schwader. Ooh, pretty. Let's see what this one is about. Oh, it's a shooter. Shoot. Ah, dead. right into it. Okay. Dead, dead, dead. These remind me of something. This what is do another they remind one from me of? Arcadia. Oh, I'm not sure. Does it, I is don't there have another game with like these birds? Oh, lots of uh, these specific birds. Yes, they remind me of something I played. Ooh, hmm. They've got good animation. Lots of frames of it. Am I pulling my shots again? I am. <laughs> Phoenix? Yeah, I am. They're, there they're, we go. They're less detailed than Phoenix. There was a game. I mean, there's there's lots of games like this. Yeah. Um, it's only eight pixels wide. You know, there's going to be not very ven any uh, variations of birds. <laughs> what was? I think it was a VHZC game. This reminds the just the general of like oh waves of enemies coming down oh. with different movements and ah the shots Tracking. their shots track you. Okay, that was bad, but. Who this game makes me want to write a game co called I'm not a player, I'm a ball. And you play the ball instead of the players. Yep. So you're only a one, one by one pixel big. Has anybody made a game where the player is one pixel? Like just one pixel? Oh yeah. I you're just a I've ball and you run into things? I don't think I've seen a one pixel game because they're really, oh my God. They track, I know. Because one pixel is fairly small. It's not the easiest. They're not the easiest. No, they're not. Things to hit. But you can go right up to them. You can. You can go about. That's as far up as the screen I can go. But that's pretty far up for a shooter. Oh! Oh my God! I know. <laughs> Is that it? No. Oh no no no! I want to make it a couple levels. Oh my God! Brutal. I can hit the reset. Okay. I want to see what the next enemy is. I do too. It, 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 it's harder than it looks. It looks like it would be... Easy? It starts hard out of the game. Whoa. There's no, like, Nutella level in this one. <laughs> These guys are actually fairly hard to hit. They are. They Really cool, though. I like it. Is and there an available level designer? <laughs> <laughs> For the one, one dot player? Mm. Pixel. You can call it pixel perfect. Oh my god. See, you're shooting ball through guy. them. You actually, if you shoot too far to the edge of them, you oh don't hit them god. too. It, it, their hitbox seems very small somehow. Mm, well, they are tiny. And, and I like that they go off the screen too. They walk they around. Like hide. They wrap around. They hide themselves at the edges of the screen. They that hide. That's unusual. Yeah. Like you can't get I them. I can't go there. No. They can though. They can. They can hide themselves. Oh, one left. Like, ha ha ha! Oh, you can't get me! Ha ha ha! Oh. It's like trying to catch a sprite when you need to cut his <laughs> nails or something. He's like, I'm under the bed. Ha oh, ha ha! Have to do this level again. Again. Because there was one guy left that I had to get. Now they're they're all over the place. What? Is this? I love the colors though, and I love the edges. I love anything with those scrolling. Oh, <gasps> oh my God! It's Mega Mania. Oh, but they don't come down to you, do they? So let me get to they... look at it for a second. Oh no. Oh, we've only got 15 seconds. Oh. Well, I want to play this till that level again. No, no, we no. have a lot. Yeah, no, we're gonna be here all day. It's getting hotter already, so. <laughs> Sorry. Next one. Is, <laughs> that one's really good. A really good shooter. Mm -hmm. Next one's Infiltrate by Apollo on August 29th, 1982. Made by Nobody Knows. Mm. There's no record of this that I could find anywhere. I'm always worried when they're like, we don't know who made it. It's like because they don't want to be known. <laughs> it's often not a, not a good indicator of uh, the game, but I don't know. I've never played Infiltrate. I do have this cartridge. Do you? Yep. Do you like it? Uh, it's okay. It's got little elevators, and you're trying to get up to the top to get that thing at the top. 
You can anticipate getting off the elevator. So watch out for those dudes. You can shoot them. And they can shoot you also. So be very careful. Oh my gosh. And they get on the elevators as well. Oh my gosh. He's Just go on. He's on the elevator. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh. It's, Dr. Mookow says it gets to BS fast speed very quickly. <laughs> oh, shoot him. Oh my god, they move fast. Oh, come on! It's hard to get... You have to anticipate it. Oh, I can't shoot from the yeah. elevator. So when you want to get on an elevator, just pull towards the elevator. Hmm? You go off the other side. Oh, that's... What then am you I get doing? to the bottom again. I have to go to the bottom again? Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty innovative. Uh, it's 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 an in a thing we have not seen on the 2600 yet. Why did I get off? Trey guy says, I missed this time so much. You could do random things in your room when your parents thought you were asleep and sell a game and nobody would never know who wrote it. Ah, you got me from the other side. Oh, no. Oh, I have to do it all over again. Oh, this oh. is very frustrating. Your uh, lives are hats. Which is oh, cute. Cool. That is that cute. That is cute. The guy's a bit warpy. The, uh... Oh, come on. <laughs> programming That's on this good. one is... It's a little good. wonky. Yeah, it's not bad, though. The colors are good. Adds a lot to it. Oh, double death. Oh, my gosh. It's hard. It's hard. Can you reset it's it? It's fun. Please. Oh, yeah. Oh, the lack of couch compliance. The, uh, Some the of them are games. couch compliant. Some are. I know. Very few, though. Few. Uh, there are a few. Yeah. Right they move. Them. They also move really fast sometimes too when they see you. But you have rapid fire, which yeah. is very good. Oh god. He wants on that elevator. Don't get too close. Oh. See, it's hard to get on them too. Because if you hold it. But even even like a couple of times go I was going it. click and it went one two one two like oh, see does. that it's really sensitive <laughs> and you're like oh for God's sakes I just want to get on the elevator. Sometimes you do want to do that. Yeah. But uh, see yeah it's it's, oh. it's so precise. Oh wait it's he automatically got on it there. Did he? Oh, oh I, I forgot shot he you. shot. I have to do it all over again. Yep. We still have not got one down to the bottom. No. Stop it. Oh, it does go automatically go on. Okay, so if you wait right at the edge, it automatically goes mm. on. So that's what we were screwing up on. You yep. can't shoot him from the elevator, unfortunately. That helps a lot. Oh my god, if I, yeah, if I knew that. See, he moves fast. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not the worst Apollo game. It's, it's Not got the some, easiest Apollo game. It's got some interesting mechanics. I don't know, I don't know the Apollo games, but... No, I don't no. either. Uh, oh, God. They don't shoot on the first level, so that's okay. They don't? No. What do you mean? As soon as you get that thing, they uh, shoot. Then they shoot. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So you just wait and you, you yep. automatically get on. Yep. Oh, that's good, because otherwise it's very odd. Yeah, that's, that's smart that they did that. Oh, oh my God. Almost done. Ah! No, 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 no! Oh, you just keep going back and when forth. When did that thing appear at the bottom? Did it appear, it appear immediately? Yeah. So you just keep going back and forth through yeah. points, I guess. I thought you had to... There was like a new level, but no, it's the same level over yeah, and over again. So that's far. kind of... Oh, God. That's kind of cheap. Yeah. Maybe it changes after a couple. We'll see. Yeah, you would kind of hope the, the elevators would change and... You would have different, the positions would change and you have different levels. Elements of elevator action, which it does, which came out a year later. Mm. So, hmm, maybe somebody saw this game. I doubt it. Oh, pretty cool. Can they shoot you yeah. while you're on an elevator? Okay. Pretty cool. Good game yeah. mechanics. Uh, Why would you want a new level when this one is already perfection? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Good It'd point. just be kind of neat if it swapped up. Next one is Pitfall. Here we go. We know. Oh, was this catch compliant? 
Did it automatically start? It did. Pitfall, made by David Crane, of course, released uh, September 2nd, 1982, AX018, also known as Tomboy or Treasure Hunting on pirated versions. Oh. Uh. Uh, I think you have to run and jump for those. Trey Guy says, what's this game? Ever heard of it? No, it's pretty obscure. Uh, How do I get off again? Down. Oh, down. Okay. Like, I'm just going to swing here forever. Gopherman says, dunno, pretty obscure. Had this one for a few weeks only back then. Ugh. Ooh. So. Whatever. It's... I don't know the, I don't know the path. These guys are hard to jump over, aren't they? Yeah, you have to get really close to them. Ugh. This game has a Ugh. lot of innovations in it. Um... Has a huge map. Um, was it the mm. first game that, like, had a map, like an open map that you could go back and forth on? I think it was. Uh, the maps were determined by a very clever um, formula. Go down, yeah. <laughs> it's off to the side after press. I always and have a hard time with this. There ones. is a way to get a perfect game, but oh, you have to <laughs> not fall down no, and not get terrible. hit by logs. I'm terrible. The rope alone is fantastic. Yes. yes. I think that's the first time yeah. there was a rope. And the underground passages took you faster through the level mm. than the above ground. So if you knew exactly where to. Oh, I think I did it too late. Jump. There you go. <laughs> nope, I was okay. So if you knew the right passageways to get to the treasure underground and come up at the right spot, you could do it faster. You could do it faster. Mm. And that fire is gorgeous. Oh, always so cool. But I have not memorized it, no. so we're just going to take the above ground. It does look amazing. This game is really cool. And you could skip over the, that brick wall, because I think it goes three at a time. Mm -hmm. But also you can skip over treasure, so sometimes you have to go below ground, then backtrack. And then, then go back again. It's just a polynomial counter. Yeah, no. But used in a game? Very cool. But with clever choices, you don't get the, all the difficulties on the first level. And... Going uh, this way, you run with the barrels. That's really cool. Logs. Yep. Logs, barrels. Yeah, <laughs> all the same. Forest barrels. Forest barrels. Because logs just randomly roll around in the forest, you know? Once in a while. <laughs> perfectly cut logs. Just just like... Uh, the width of your path. With constant uh, energy and velocity and momentum. Oh, yeah. All the time. Just rolling through a forest. And the music. Yay! Oh, God. Don't hesitate. Run with the barrels. That sounds like an ancient what? Ancient uh, Chen teaching. <laughs> <laughs> you must run with the barrels. Run with the barrels. Don't Do not, fight. Don't fight the barrels. Don't run fight with the them. barrels. Be like water. Yes. Or the logs. Run with the logs. <laughs> <laughs> Do not obstruct the logs on their intended path. <laughs> But everything about this is super quality. Like, look at the trees and the little branches at the top. The uh, play field uh, leaves on the trees. Yeah, uh, multi, so nice. Multi-level. Not the first game to have multi-level. Remember that game we were flying? <laughs> oh, it died. Yeah. Uh, flying above, and then it went below. So not the first game to have multi-level. Yeah. But a innovative use of the multi-level. Nice. There's always something there. So this is one of the games nice. I have not done for uh, getting patch? my patch. Because it's hard, yeah? No, no, it's not hard. Oh, actually. okay. But you haven't done it yet. I thought Running with the Barrels was a Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> running with the Barrels. Uh, next one is Communist Mutants from Space. Uh, what is it? Sorry? Communist Mutants from Communist Space. Mutants. Uh, September 3rd, 1982. It's a Sp Star Path <laughs> Supercharger game. Originally on cartridge. Uh, now, not only did wow. 
the StarPath Supercharger load off of cassette, they were able to distribute them cheaper. The StarPath Supercharger, this is a great game, by the way. It is. Uh, the <laughs> this is an intensely the name, awesome game. The name is something, though. It's something. It's something. It's an awesome shooter with great graphics, like awesome graphics, great gameplay. Look at the things up top that turn into creatures. As as you hit them, like, too. What the hell is so good? Um, but the StarPath Supercharger had extra memory on the cartridge, ah. extra RAM, so they were able to do crazy things like this on it. Oh, gosh. I want my... Uh... That's an 80s name if there ever was Oh, one. <laughs> yeah. Especially the title screen, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Am I supposed to hit that guy? Is that uh, the yes. idea? Eventually that I yeah. make, I force a path through? Oh, oh, you almost got him, but he dropped oh. something. Oh, I thought he was going to get hit there. Yeah, really, you're trying to get that oh, guy Oh, at the, the end, this is it. Yeah. Because he keeps dropping them, right? So oh my God, try it's so and hard. get it in the middle, try and clear a path. Oh, you can shoot through them, too. My God, this is not easy. Oh, oh, so close. Oh, you almost I... got him. Yes. Oh, yeah. And now there's no more dropping. Now you clear Now they out. just, they, they fall like Galaga. Basically. Great, great uh, gameplay. And oh, God, really I want to pass this level. I really want to get through level one. Come you on, can you do can it. do it. You can do Four it. Four more I left. Know. Three more left. Two more left. One more left. <gasps> nice. Flag. One flag. <laughs> Extra guy. Nice. Do you prefer Gallagher or Breakout? I can't choose. Hold oh, my, yeah. Hold my beer. Oh, great explosion, too. Oh, okay. I still have plenty of guys. That's good. Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it's Galaga and Breakout. Kind of. Or It's very cool. He keeps adding to the bricks, though. It's like Breakout if if, if you couldn't... Oh, it's like... Something was interfering and kept throwing bricks. Ah, terrible. Galaga crossed with the first level of Gorf, where that guy comes and drops all the all the guys at the top but he just keeps staying on the screen and keeps dropping them dr mookow says this is pretty good pretty cool yeah this is really good i keep forgetting about this game and how good it is it is a really good game i think it probably doesn't get a lot of love because uh the name is a little uh political weird a little political and people like communist mutants from space yeah Commie mutants from space. Ah, uh, funny. It's tree time. It's tree time. Tree time. Oh, that black cat. Oh, I've never. That black cat oh, moved faster cat. than uh, these guys falling from the sky. Oh, baby cat. He's like trees, please. So we'll use the original bell and one of the new ones so there's a little bit different tone. Ah. Almost out of treats. We have to order some more. Okay. You're almost done. Almost done. I want to I'll play. finish it. Oh no, you're not allowed. No. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll swap here. All right. So. Oh. Nice I like. Score. I like. Very nice. That is an awesome game. Yes. And I'm gonna play it while during treat time. Okay. Treat time. Oh my god! You get to. Oh my god! I'm gonna switch back for just a second. Okay. Look at this. You have a menu. That you can choose things. A ding ding ding. He says oh my god so good yes yes i know service please <laughs> there we go here we go <laughs> oh my cat there we go i guess you could just scum points in this uh, i think you probably could Cause... yes okay tree 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 i get it hit the bell please sorry i keep feeding you because the other cat hits the bell Good kitty. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just, he's just smacking that bell. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. <laughs> You're so friggin' cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. The rapid bell smacks, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got him finally, oh my god. Good kitty. I 
I would like to get a camera so you could see it at their level because I think that would be pretty yeah. cute. But um, right now our cat cam is too high up. You can't really see their faces. All right, good kitties. That's enough for you. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. More food, please. Good kitties, thank you. Who is that? Dan ABC Thrust. Glad you could join us for some of the show. Yes, we're doing an early one for yeah. Thrust. Okay, that is a pretty cool game. I think we need to move on though. We do have oh, like no. 40 games. Yes. <laughs> oh, Thrust is going. Okay. Okay, the next one is also, they released a bunch of them all at once. Uh, four from Star Path Supercharger. Okay. Or Star Path. The cartridge is called the Star Path Supercharger. It's Fireball. Uh, this is a paddle game. Oh, so I loaded it. Is that going to be a problem? Nope. nope okay. It's fine. I think it's the one paddle game we have today. Do you find them trying to ring other random things? No, no. Uh, they're pretty focused on the bells. Yeah, they've learned bell equals treat. Danny C says like that. No food, so they ha so they leave. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's like the bells pulled away. They're like, okay, I'm gonna find somewhere cool to hang out. So this w this room is a little on the warm side, but they'll be back. They'll be back. One player. Oh, let's play two player. Yeah. First. Player one, first try. Let's see. Uh, it's you? me. You catch him and release them. Oh, it's breakout. Breakout with the dude. I thought there was like. It doesn't some... bounce though. It it's catch and release every time. So far, yeah. Hmm. A a very good breakout. Oh. Oh oh. Now I have to do two of them. Can I catch two of them? Or do I have to release one? You might one? be able to. No, I think... Oh, nope. you can! Oh, maybe it's just not... Oh, God. Ah! Oh, you can't lose any of them! Oh, my gosh. Interesting. Paddle games are never a problem. Ooh, I think this played in a high score club somewhat recently. Did I miss this? Oh, yeah, I, I only play homebrew in that one. I don't have time to play all those. You can catch two, but I don't think you can catch three. See, that's a problem when you release two at once. That's why you don't want to release two at once. Well, it depends on the, how they bounce, right? Ah, oh, it's hard. It is. Oh, well, I got a good good score though. They still start there. That's so funny. Yeah, you want to kind of stagger them, throwing them out. Yeah. Oof. So you don't really want to hold on to it two at it's, once. It's almost like breakout and juggling. <laughs> yes. It's like juggling breakout. Keeping all the balls in the air. Well, Arkanoid, because Arkanoid... Arkanoid, you sorry, can, yes. You can hold it when you have... Um, C? When you get one of the power-ups, you can you hold it. You get a lot of points, though. Keeping them in the air. Oh, Oh, do you stop getting points? No. Oh, no. I don't know why I got so many points all at once. And it counts up. It counts that's... up slowly. I think that's why your points are counted up fairly slowly. That's a new thing. Um, of the I've counting? seen some homebrew that do that. Like, they don't just give you 100 points, they count up to 100 points. Okay, you need to direct your ball because oh. you're, you're, they're not hitting anything right now. Well, it's hard to know. It is. Okay, so left hand throws left, and oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, and it just continues. Oh, you got four now. Oh my God. Interesting. I keep playing, this keep playing until until you die, and because. Uh... Nice, nice. Uh, oh, okay. You can't even lose one. That's the difference. Very, very cool game. Very cool. The slow count is nice, gives you a good feeling of the slot machine. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Okay, that was the only paddle game, I believe. Mm. So, uh, Oh, no, there's three more at the end. I'll at the, at the very end, okay. Where are we? What was that one? Fireball. Okay, phaser patrol. 
cassette. <laughs> yeah, they're originally on cassette. Mmm. Almost halfway through. Yeah. Phaser Patrol, September 3rd as well. All these are September 3rd. Uh, this is, last one was uh, AR4300. This is AR4000. Last one was made by Scott Nelson. This one's made by Dennis Caswell. Uh, and the f Communist Mutants uh. from Space was made by Stephen H. Landrum. I don't know how this works. Oh, I got it. another one of these. Where am I going? I've never played this. So you're just going to have to go to the enemies and warp in there. Good. Press button. Stand by. Maybe I have to switch. Go. That looks like your ship. I don't. I don't understand. All right, this is a game that is too complicated to play so this go quickly. Go to those dudes. That's probably my docking station. These are. These have to be the. What's I don't up? know. Anyone? <laughs> oh, look at that! The color opened the bay doors. Am I sucking something in? The radar doesn't seem to be... There. Well, try and target that again. No. It doesn't look like I'm supposed to do that. Let's go to one of the axes then. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe I do have to go to these guys. Maybe those are the bad guys. You lowered your shields. Who lowered their shields? Oh, I'll put them up again. That's shields. Oh, there's some enemies. Why would you want to lower your shields? Maybe for docking. Pretty detailed. Oh my god, I got oh, him. Oh, you got him. I'm as surprised as anyone else. Oh, oh, oh. I remember nice. a game where you started in a space rocket. I never knew how to play it. Oh, that might be, um, yeah, Activision Space Shuttle. Yeah, that one I have to read up on. And I have to make an overlay for that one, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one, out. these are much easier to hit than that other game. That other game was just brutal. Oh, you this, could tell if you were hitting anything or not. This one seems to be like, oh, you're actually... Targeting. Yeah, targeting. Oh. Whoa. Really detailed. The yeah, stars it's are really, nice. It looks really good. The stars are blinking. Can I get hit? I think it's empty. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yep. Let's go to the other ones now. This makes sense. Oh, the radical turns ready of a target lock. Okay. Yeah, this one's really detailed. The thing at the bottom is amazing. The detail on it. How did they even do that? Okay, done. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, they're multiplying. Oh, they're going to the they're going to the planets. That's what it is. I probably should be going after that guy who's right by the oh. planet. Oh. Damn it. Radar above the energy count. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Yes. Yeah. There's the radar. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Empty. Nope. One more. Nope. I guess the stuff on the right that's kind of blinking is just random coolness. It's kind of counting up. Oh, oh, it's like a... Clear? No, I don't see anything more here. I think I, if I don't defend that planet, he's going to... Yeah, the bottom planet. I assume it's a battle. Still have full shields, it looks like. And full C and full L and full T. All right, I think we're we're done. This is really really good. It's all, really good. This is oh. All the uh -oh. Star Pass superchargers are good. Oh, you lost your T. Oh no, I have no targeting. Oh. Ah, go back, go back. I think I have to go to a planet. Do I? Probably. Let's see if you refresh. No. I don't know. So stand by. There you go. Now you're full again. Awesome. Am I? Cool, yep. okay. Another great Star Pass Supercharger yeah. game. Yeah. Next one is uh, Suicide Mission. 
September 3rd, 1982. Uh, AR4102, Steve Hayes and Stephen H. Landrum. Mm. Oh, look at that detail. Full oh, size Katie. screen, also known as Suicide Mission Me Meteoroid Meteoroids. Can't start this. Oh. Yeah. Not couch comply. Player one score zero. High score easy. Oh, look at those blobs moving. Press the button. No. I think I have to do it again. There we go. Oh! Oh my god, it's asteroids. It's vector-based asteroids. Wow. Mmm. How well did the Star Pass Supercharger sell? Because these games are incredible with the amount of detail they have in them. Oh, oh, there's a UFO. Yeah, this greatest. is this is asteroids. We need an extended supercharger after dark. I'll have to do that when I get one, because I am definitely going to get one now, knowing how good these games are. Never played them. Very cool. I mean, it's not as good as Space Rocks, but <laughs> it's um, pretty amazing. Yeah. The full screen detail vector kind of and they're blobby moving oh my god the yeah. animation on this is astounding they're a little hard to hit yeah like the hitbox for especially this when they break apart into like Snakies. lines <laughs> and snakes space snakes oh, oh god run. but actually you don't have that weird like floaty movement Oh, that's that's cool. So, so you go where you stay. White. Yes. You just you stop. Around. You don't continually move. Oh, that's good. Oh my god. These things move so fast. It's cool. The pseudo vector is really amazing. I don't think any other game has used it. Not so far. I don't remember any original game yeah. that uses vector type graphics. Not until Homebrew with like thrust and um, space rocks. Can't think of any other ones. Uh, um, no, uh, Star Castle as well. Oh, got me. oh, I get to play. Stella gets a new brain CD. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, yeah, Charles Millen says, I can send you a copy of the Stella Gets a New Brain CD. Hi! Oh, um, Hi, Yeah, that Silky would be... King. I'd have to load it off CD, and then I'd have to find a CD player. Oh, little black cat. I guess that would be easier than... Uh, Did you get lots of treats? I have a CD player. He's a happy cat. Or do I? I don't have a CD player. Oh, oh you're wet. How would I do that? Even in the water. Uh, he's a, I, I swear, yeah, a I wonder cat. if he would jump in a pool. Yeah, I'll we'll have to make a big pool for him. See what he does with it. We put bowls out, but they're not for, like, big enough bowls that he can get in them. He he plays with the water. He loves water. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he'd get in it, but he loves playing with the water. He seems fascinated by we it. We could put, like, all four paws in it and see if he'd, like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. he wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. He does seem to have a waterproof coat, though. <laughs> it's very shiny. Yeah, that would be awesome to get that. Uh, I, is yeah. it available online? This was going to be even closer to asteroids with the movement and enemies and so on, but they made changes to avoid getting sued to smithereens. Well, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's asteroids like, but you don't have that kind of floating around the atmosphere kind of thing. Yeah, and um, the graphics are different. When Stella Gets a New Brain came out, which had Supercharger games on it, I yes. ordered the Supercharger from four days. I got Supercharger about a day before I got the CD. Wow. Oh, good timing. Yeah. Hello, Ed Patris. So the Supercharger was kind of the first Harmony cart mm. because it was released in 82, right? And you could load games on it. So if you had the bindery on tape or on CD, yeah. you could do that. Next one, Submarine Commander. I don't have the cartridge for it there. And this one is not a Star Pass Supercharger. It's by Atari. I don't Submarine remember seeing Commander. it. Okay. Yeah. Must be a more rare one. Ooh. CX-2646. Oh. Uh, by Joseph Beal. Oh, no. It's by uh, Marin Churchill, Matthew L. Hubbard. Are you playing? Oh, my goodness. What? 
So oh, those are your it's, it's... missiles, and those are the boats. Wow. What am I shooting, though? Am I shooting the, the boats? boats? Shoot the boats. All boats? Probably. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Oh. Oh. Sunk it. two. So it alternates the torpedo loading. This is another Sears exclusive. Bit hard to find, but not ultra rare. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember ever seeing it. Oh my it gosh. When, uh, when I was collecting. Oh gosh. It is uh, uh, cool. Especially the moving up and down. Fairly large sprites. Not super detailed. But pretty good. They've got the water in front. And it's using two colors, which is nice. Like for the water in the front. <laughs> keep shooting. No, it you have to because it pauses when you hit it and you just have to keep keep Oh my god, I don't know how you get that little guy. How hard is that? Uh this one's called Submarine Commander, September fifth, nineteen eighty two, by Atari. Oh. Hmm. You can't shoot at the surface. It's we a little weird. Oh, that's what was going on. Like when you I thought it was a top, reloading issue. Psst, psst, psst. Back hat. Hey. Oh my gosh. Fast. Yeah. Oh, you can move and shoot. So you have a, a number counting down. Is that how much ammunition you have left? Maybe. And it's conti no, it's continuously counting down. So that's a timer. Scores at the top. Not it sure goes down. F the more you shoot, the more it goes down. Does it that? is yes. Or is it going up? No. Bottom one's it's going, going down. down. Yeah, there. It's like energy or something. There's Why is a. It not going down. Die! What's going on here? You're just delaying it. I think. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> just causing more damage to it. Not getting oh, more points. Maybe. No, but if if you don't continually shoot it, it runs off. So how do you know you've you've hit it enough? There you go. I think it's gotcha. twice. Yeah, twice. Yeah, you don't okay, really know. Okay, I'm doing know. too much. There we go, twice. Okay. Small ones are hard. I've not gotten a small one yet. Because they're fast. Nostalgic says he's never seen this one in a while. That's probably why I don't have it either. It's one of the more rare ones. Mm. I mean, at this point, Atari had a lot of competition from a lot of companies. Yeah. So people were buying Activision games. Imagine this coming out very close to Pitfall. Like, this came out in the same week as Pitfall. Did it really? So what are you going to buy? This or Pitfall? Everyone's going to buy Pitfall. And yeah. this one probably got forgot. Right? It That's, looks... looks like a pretty decent game. Well, the scrolling up and down is really, really good. But beyond that... There's not much gameplay happening. No, I haven't seen anything change yet. I mean, I'm not doing that well, but this it just counts counter. down. Counter goes to zero. I mean, the wake in front of the boat's cool. The scrolling up and down's really cool. The radar at the bottom doesn't do anything. It's useless. That Those lines in the white and red at the top, I don't even know. It's a little... Oh, are you able to go left and right? Well, it seems like it, or you can travel with it, I guess. Uh. Oh, can you? Oh, you yeah. can. That'll make the fast ones a little bit easier. Try and get a tiny, a tiny one. Oh, your th your um, your mis missiles move too. When you travel with it. Caffeman 2 ds Check the Atari Age forums for Starfast Supercharger if you want to download. Thank you. Interesting. As Estella gets a new brain CD, I'm guessing. There was a Sears in the mall near where I grew up, and I never saw one of the Sears exclusive games there. Ah. Yay! Okay, interesting. Interesting yep. game. Next one is Venture. I am certain I have this, but I don't have the cartridge out. So we'll just have to pretend I do have this, because I am almost certain. Maybe I'm thinking like I have it for Coleco and that I just never bought it for the Atari. Do you want to play this one? Sure. Can you read I think out the We've played uh, games like this, very similar. Uh, we've played like an upgrade to this. Yes. Yeah. We're about oh, halfway through now. It's 
concerned about how many left. This one unfortunately does not fill in. That's why there was a hack made for this. Yep. Fill in what you've done and what you haven't, so you have to memorize mm. it. Luckily, there's only four. Oh, yeah, because Remember? you can't see. Yes, 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 yes. It's Venture by Coleco, uh, by Joseph Beale. It is a very good cool. conversion of the arcade. Yeah. It's just missing a couple things. Here's a game in which you play a pixel. Yes, oh, correct. Yes. On one screen. We we're just talking about that. At least outside the rooms. That's true. I mean, you don't do much as that pixel. You kind of just go to a room. But you do play as a pixel. Oh my god, come on. I've already done that room anyway. Have you? Yeah. I did it from the left side. I don't know why they couldn't fill it in. It's just... It's just play field. Probably the amount of storage you'd have to... Uh, keep. It's really hard to get around these guys. Because some of them erratic. overlap. Oh, erratic. They're so fast erratic. and erratic. Last yeah. room. It is. You are correct. You do play Evil Auto in this game. Oh, yeah. The baddies come. Yeah. The baddies come if you take too long, just like Berserk. Yeah. It's like the Berserk guy comes for you. Yeah, I did them all. <laughs> Level one. Level two! Level two! I played this a lot. Um, as a kid. Because it's got a lot of cool... Oh, oh I gotcha. A lot of things going for it. It's got yes. the two screens, it, and inside... Oh, my God. Inside each of these is a different play field as well. Mm -hmm. And there's different enemies inside here. I think they all turn to the same mush, though. <laughs> Makes like a weird face. But if you like this game, Griffins. definitely get the hack of it. The new version. By Omega Matrix, I believe. It has all the enhancements. Yes, it's got we the... played it. So much fun. Yeah, I didn't. We didn't finish it yet. We got oh, so no. close. It's still on my list to finish. It's got the treasure room. It fills in um, the finished areas. Uh, the graphics are better. <gasps> really, really, gotcha. really. I hate that you start at the bottom too. You have to go oh, around that gigantic no. form there. Uh, oh, they're so fast. And they dangerous. are so fast, and they're so erratic. Just the, the top T, right? That's the one you have to do? Oh, oh, right you down. can't go in. That's that's at least good. Yeah. And you have to wait. So uh, it dies, because it will kill you, right? pretty quick. Yeah, you can't touch the dead pile uh, of mush. Oh, the, the toxic pile of alien mush. Oh! Ah, no! No! <laughs> Start all over from the bottom. Oh, these guys. Whoa, how did Whoa, I, did I don't know how die. you got, you got like caught under his ah, ghosty ah. bottom. Get out of the way. <gasps> Oof. What are up you to up no to? Good. Up to oh, no he's good. Oh, chewing the, the, the cord for the <sighs> boxes. Okay, level two. 39 seconds. Let's get into the one with the walls moving. Uh, I don't think there is one with the walls moving on this one. It's the bot top left if it is the one. Oh, come on. Come on. Can I make it? There it is. There, we can get a little variety. Mm -hmm. Moving, moving walls. Is that? That's something new in a game. Is it? I think, yeah, moving walls. Most of it is just moving enemies mm. in games, not moving, you know, parts of the game, parts of the, of the decoration. <laughs> Alrighty. Very, very good game. Better in ColecoVision, yes, but it has been corrected. Where's the list? Oh, I can't keep it over there. I need to reference it That's okay. constantly. Uh, Armor Ambush, which I have. Okay. M Network, unstackable M Network games. <laughs> you and the unstackable. I just don't like them. I don't like them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. It's got 
got something. Ethanol's upstairs, unfortunately. Yeah, we're not, we don't have time to clean all these games. That's why we have the Harmony Cart. But, Armor Ambush. Text. There's the text for the M Network game. Uh, what is it again? Armor Ambush. Uh, but, uh, September 16th, 1982, M Network by Hal Finney. This is a two player game, I believe. Okay, 25 black, 25 blue. Oh. Or not. Are you are oh. you plugged in? No. That would help. I'm plugged in for. I, I there we go. Okay, it's like uh, combat, except with terrain. Ah! And you have more than one hit you can take. Oh, that's kind of good. Which is good. So then there's a bit more strategy. You go slower through things. Hey. How do you switch? Down. Okay. So you have to kind of protect both of them. Because one is just immobile. You can hide behind buildings. And you can steer your shots. Or can you? No, they're just um, bouncy. Oh, I hit myself. I can't go backwards. Oh. Now you have to turn around. You can't. I couldn't turn around there at all. Oh, you there. couldn't. Can you not move? Uh, turn when you're... Or do you get stuck on walls turning? It's a shootout! Ah, I figured I'd lose that. It's whoever shoots first. Oh, oh, I was already injured. I'm having advantage right now. Slight advantage. I think I've only got one hit in on you. Ooh, bounce off a wall. Nope. So it's, it's like an upgraded version of combat. Yeah. Cute, though. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, you got me. Cool. Enhanced versions of existing games would be a good theme for an episode. It would be. I wonder how many there are. I mean, obviously... No! No! I mean, there, there's been hacks of games. But there'd have to be, like, decent, Ugh. decent enough upgrades. Oh, it only goes so far. Oh, come on! Oh. Won that round. But it counts by how many you destroyed. It is neat, though, that you switch between them. You it can't, is. You know. Oh, the road makes you really fast. I can be straight on the road. Da -da 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 that hit you? No. Oh, it's hitting the forest. Whew, survive with two on that one. So it counts down. I don't like this. Like, you have what? to... Like, why I, Why do I start with two in the field within access to you? I'm as far away from you as you are from no, me. No, but you, yours is up there. I have two right in the oh, front. Like, why I do see. I have two on the road that Both I have to then the get spot. out of the way? There we go. That's better. No, but that like, me. well, no, but it's just weird. Ah! It's weird that you sh you shift the moment you shoot. Oh, do you? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's to keep it from you just hammering. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I, you still beat me, but uh, that's very cool. That's uh, next one's Beanie Bopper by Twentieth Century Fox. This one's kind of cool. A little repetitive about On Atari 2060, even the bugs are good. Yes. yes. <laughs> September 16th, 1982 by Grady Ward. Which one, sorry? Where are we? Beanie Bopper. Beanie Bopper. Oh boy. It's a shooter that you move. 
Okay, you have to shoot them and then get them after you stun them. Oh, get them after you stun them. What am I doing here? And some things don't move around and you can just get them. Do I get that? Yep. Shoot everything. Shoot it all. Ah! Oh, they become them. Kind of with a one-note game. Because this, this is the game. But the um, graphics are very good. Scrolling is, you know, cool. Uh, the title at the top, where it's always on the screen, that's pretty awesome. And the fact that the top lives move at the same time you do, which is not a hard thing to do because it's just like drawing what you are just at the top, is a cool addition because they look at the same. It reminds me of VHZC, uh, some of his levels, where as you move, the eyeball watches you where you are. That I think you can... Oh my God. I'm going to get squished. Yeah, I don't get squished. I don't know if you can. He might just spit you outside. Looks like a gray pearl, olive. Yeah, you control an olive. Or, yeah, more like a grape, because it's purple. I don't even stand aside. Doesn't last forever. <laughs> no. not getting lives lost there. thought I was dying, but... I did lose a life. Did I have four, or if I... Uh, I didn't notice you have four, but I've seen you have three the whole time. Oh, have I? Okay. You might have had four. But you got hit twice. Like I said, I pretty one-note game. <laughs> Like the play field changes, but eh, the gameplay really doesn't. It doesn't exactly feel hard either. I mean, I'm <laughs> no. playing this for the first time and it's. You haven't lost straight, the life. Pretty straightforward. I mean, just. Don't know. Getting those guys. Am I getting points for no, them? No, you're not. Oh, you're getting points for shooting them. Oh, you got points for getting them. You guy. do. Okay. That noise. Sounds bad. It does sound bad, but, but you're getting points. So well, they're getting make... faster. They're definitely getting faster. Oh, he got oh. me. Oh, so people who make games right. pay attention to your sounds because brown sounds terrible. Sounds like a, a a sound that is bad. Oh, it just spits you off the side. Yeah, you don't lose a life. Aha! So fast. No. Okay, they're getting fast now. Are the variations or difficulty switches have an effect? I bet. I mean, we're not getting into that. Too much. Oh! Get him! Get him! Rescue! Oh, you can pause them. That's right. Oh, he got me again. So it is getting harder. He, they do get fast. Like, these guys right now, they're not fast. But some, you get one every once in a while that gets super fast. I assume you just pick these guys up. You yeah. don't have to pause them. You don't have to hit them. Oh, God. You can shoot them to pause them if you can't get them, I guess. These guys are fast. Getting fast. All right. Now. All right. Well, I don't know if you want to play or we're just at uh, the end. No, we can flip it end. over. It's, oh, it's... it gets really freaky if you can get to 100,000 points. Oh, okay. I'm a little a little ways away from that. A little ways away. Play 10 times as long. Next one's Frogs and Flies. Yay! Mm. I love this game. Mm. Uh, it's by M Network by David Rolf, uh, September 16th, 1982. I played the hell out of it on in television and I believe it's, it's a good version on the 2600 as well aim is to get as many flies as you can this is one. Oh. Oh. oh it's no, a two no, player it's two player just said it's a two player game so you can hop different ways by up down left right or no you can't okay and then the television oh. version and you can land in the water you can hop little bits Okay. How come I'm only... 
like hopping. Depends how much you hold the uh, the joystick. Yeah, the more you hold the joystick, the bigger your hop. My yes. option is not doing anything. If you go, if you hold to the right, you go further. I think our options are different. Do you see me? You don't. That's not what's happening with you. No, because I'm expecting that because I played this before. But I think my options are just I'm a stupid red frog and I can only hop left or right. But I can't. Does your tongue go far? Uh, no. No. Just okay. a little bit. It's, it's just still a little just frog a little. tongue. Oh, not a, gosh. Not a bullet. Dave, difficulty switch on A to adjust your hops. Oh, because we're playing that game before. No, I was on easy. Were oh, you? Oh, no. No, oh. we're both on easy now. Now I think. we're both on easy. Okay, now we can both play properly. Properly? Sure. Ah! <laughs> we, we were in Nutella mode. Well, you were. I wasn't. So in Nutella mode, you just press the joystick and you can move anywhere you want really easily. Or it only goes to one spot. I've caught, like, all of one fly. I wish, I wish, I wish the, uh... <laughs> Ah, no! Oh, I'm terrible at this. Yeah, you up, don't die. up is a small hop. You there we go. Up is more upward. Left there and we right go. are further. Into the water. Well, they shouldn't die in the water. I mean, it would be ridiculous if they died in the water, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, they don't die. They just, they just they have just to get out of the water. climb back out. And it gets darker. I like it. It's such a cute game. Getting the hang of it now. A little bit. Good. <laughs> it's very cute. The I like it a lot. The animation is great. Oh. The movement, the, the ability to move in a different amounts is really good. And it is challenging. It, it, it is not the easiest, I have to say. Catching the flies can be pretty challenging. <laughs> <laughs> it's super cute though it's so ultimately like, cute this is one of those games you would love to play with a kid like they would yes. just be like I'm a froggy I'm a froggy I'm moving around <laughs> I'm getting the flies yes. I think they would love it I certainly certainly my, my nieces and nephews would love a game like this they love games where you play animals or, and we hop off bye yeah. Aww, <laughs> isn't that you cute just be, that is adorable the end I oh, like but that. you don't hear the crickets in this version. Oh. Oh, no, oh a little bit, yeah. They are. There we go. Holes in the tree are bigger now. Is that your capture card of the game? Uh, it wouldn't be the capture card. It pretty much captures exactly what you see. I'll have to look next time. There's a, some vibrating uh, reeds over there on the right-hand side. Oh, yeah, it's... When I press the button with my tongue, the reeds on the right change. Oh, do they? They vibrate. Oh, they or vibrate. They, oh, funny. Or they stop vibrating. Oh, Depending come where on. Depending where I am. Terrible. That's weird. A little bit of a bug in the game. Ha ha ha, bug. Grown-ups enjoy being frogs, too. Yeah. <laughs> we do. I like these froggies. They do great things, because they get rid of the bugs. Ugh. Make a hell of a racket, though. Time. Oh, they're so cute, though. They are. We forgive them. We do not forgive the cicadas. Oh, they're so loud. We don't have cicadas here. I would no. bring nuts if we did. Oh, my God. Oh, that was terrible. Um, Super cute! Uh, oh, my God, I love this game. Yeah, you have to be out east to hear the cicadas. Next one's Mega Mania. Woohoo! Love it. My little black cat. Oh, he's so hot. One of my favorites. Steering bullets is on. 
Mega Mania, yeah. September 26, 1982 by Activision. AX017 by Steve Cartwright. Steve, you made an awesome game. Now what do I do? Forget. I know I've played this game before. Shoot everything. Avoid their shots. Avoid them. That's uh, all there is to it. Straight up shooter. Don't get don't get killed. Yeah. Ah, oh my god. At least you made a bit of a hole for yourself. That is the that's the key on this level. Make sure you at least make a hole for yourself. And then you're fine. You can start kind of. picking off the edges. And the more energy, the quicker you finish the level, the more bonus you get. <laughs> if you, you still have to finish it before your energy runs out, you right? You do as well as that, yes. Catman 2D, man, I love this game, and the 5200 one as well. I haven't seen the 5200. I do have it. Um, I'm guessing the graphics are just better on the 5200 version. Did we play this for a high score club or oh, something? We, well, or, just for, or the, for patch. the patch. We did. Yeah, we did. I did get the patch on this. What was the patch? Uh, it's not super easy, the patch, but it, I wouldn't say it's hard, it's if I remember correctly. outside of a no, normal I, person's I, I ability it, to... Ah. Yeah, normal people can get this one as deadly. Oh, oh, this is rough, 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 rough. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, my. Catman 2D, much better graphics, but basically the same game. Yeah. Packer at VG, I played this game to death back in the day at a friend's house. Activision really hit their stride in 82. Yeah, with Pitfall and Mega Mania. Wow, yeah. What else do they have on this list? Oh, that's it. Come on, there we go. Um, yeah, that's... I mean, this is just the middle of 82. But uh, just two Activision games today. Just two today? Yeah. Coins in the sky, coins in, in the sky. sky. Deadly, deadly, deadly. Oh, deadly coins in the sky. Oh, diamonds in the sky. With Lucy. Is that where the Rihanna song came from? Uh, no, it came from the Beatles. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Oh. <laughs> I guess hers, does she say, like, diamonds in the sky? Yeah, yeah, I think she does say that. Does she? Yeah, yeah. in her song, too. Well. Ah. Oh. Diamonds could be considered stars. I should oh, name no, it. I'm sure yeah. she's taking it yeah. from the Beatles. Can yeah, you reset it for me? Let's see how far you get. I'm just going to pop in out. One minute, 54 there seconds? Not very far. Yeah. left a bit more. Anybody prefer unguided shots? No, guided shots for life. Unguided is harder. I just I just like the gameplay of guided too. And the patch is for um, for guided shots, so you don't have to be like, oh, this is the easy level. Come on. Come on. Wrap around. Yes, kittens? What do you want? Ah! No! Yeah, I remember the patch I was struggling with dying and then getting lives and dying. I can't remember when you get an extra life. Is it a, every 5,000 or something? 30 seconds left. Hi, kid. Oh, we got a great cat. Great cat? This is the hardest level. Yeah, it is. It, it is spinning changing. Spinning tires. Spinning tires. They do look like spinning tires. Because they leave so little room yeah. for error. Like, you can create like a little gap, but yeah, it is hard. Hi. Hi, little guy. I guess you're not so little anymore, but... He's a chonker. He's a chonker. He has definitely gotten chonkier. Yeah, in the he's last been, little bit. He's been eating the kitten food. It's really hard to stop him. <laughs> and he's like, okay. mm, Every life, every food. ten. Okay. Nice. Uh, next one's Mousetrap. Great Coleco game. Yeah. Pac-Man, but you can save up your power pellets. That's pretty much the game. I think this is couch compliant. You playing? No, oh, you wasted one. What? 
What? So you hold the button. Sorry? It's 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 Pac-Man, eat the pellets. And those uh, X's are oh. bones. Okay. And you press the button to uh, become a dog. And you can eat the cats. There you go. And you hold the button to change the doors open or closed. Like um like in um oh. Ladybug. Theoretically, you can trap all the cats in the middle. <laughs> Great sound effects uh, for the dog in this. Like when you get the bone, it goes woof. It's really, really good. Oh. Too slow. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, this is made by uh, Coleco, October 3rd, 1982, my birthday, uh, 24. 59, made by Sylvia Day, Todd Marshall, Robin McDaniel, oh. and Henry Will the Fourth. So lots of people partnered to make this game. The fact that you can save your power pellets is so good. Such a great mechanic. Woof. I played this on the Coleco a lot. Oh, that didn't go the way I thought it was going Because it's a Coleco game. <laughs> Yeah, pressed it too slow to become a dog. Woo! No, no, it's that's not what I meant. I wasn't trying to oh, become the doors? a dog. I, the doors weren't going the way I thought they were going to go. Oh, come on. Maybe I don't have one. Not no, very you have good. two. No. I think you have to stop to turn it into a dog. So I think you were moving while you were... Oh, okay. I think. I didn't mean to do that again. Yeah, I have to hold it a bit longer. There you go. And that sound effect's really good for a cat. It is a good cat. If I ever make a cat game, I'm going to base it off of that sound. And, and work it from there and see how they make it. No! It's pretty much like a... An up and a down, really annoying. Yeah, this takes some getting used to. I'm not hitting it long enough. But the power pellets only last a little bit about time, a little amount of time, which is kind of the the detriment of being able to trigger it any time you want. Oof. Yeah, they nailed the dog and cat sounds. There we go. Caffman 2D says, yeah, and puts three dogs. Oof. Yeah, the dog sounds so good. Ran out. Just, just, just a out. little late. Okay. Reset. I can play for two cute. seconds. Cute. It's a, oh, a minute. A minute. You got a minute. Very, very cute. Super cute. Great graphics for the cat and the mouse. Yeah. It's like does the door doesn't always open the way you think it's going to. No. It kind of switches between I'm sure, two different mazes. I'm sure as as you know the maze, you you know which way it swings, but yeah. So. Yeah, so mouse turns into dog after eating the bone. Freaky. Yep. <laughs> yep. Super powered mouse. Oh, that's not long enough. Oh, just long enough. Just long enough. It's pretty cute. Pretty Good twist on Pac Man. Cute. Maze power uh, pellet eating games. Oh, God. Just in time. Screen glitches and goes to the next level. <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah, sure, run away. Yeah, now they do run away from me. They're like they know. There you that go. Really cool. good game. So cute. Uh so Real cute. Sports Baseball, October third, nineteen eighty two. Cartridge. I haven't been showing the cartridges, but <laughs> Caffey Man 2D says 
says, I was watching a prior stream on YouTube. Tanya let out a hilarious loud yelp when she crashed in Activision <laughs> Grand Prix. <laughs> By Joseph Tung. All right. I, if I remember, this is pretty good. Okay, ready? Oh, I'm the batter. What am I? Pitch. Uh, or not. Oh. Run! Oh my god, you have to tell him to run to first. Oh, I just uh, barely made it. Oh, no, that was an out. I don't know. Oh, I see. Pretty pretty good oh. play field for the graphics. Okay, forward. Run! Oh my god, these people don't run. Ooh, should I run to third? No. Then that immediately goes back. Real Jeez. sports are great, Dan says. Well, so far, so good. Good animation for the um, throwing the ball. Watch, watch the guy throw the ball. Really good. Run! What are you guys doing? Oh. Oh my God! I, I don't know how uh, how I control who he throws to. Is it right first? I must have to pick the person. Anyway, that's fine. Because otherwise I would have gotten someone out, but I don't know. Oh. What? I could oh. be stealing. Oh, come on. I'm not going to steal. Okay. If you hit the button and hit nothing, it's it, it throws it to pit to the pitcher. Oh, uh, okay. Um Oh, way too early. I don't know if there's what? Why am I sh why am I throwing to him? Weird. Okay. I don't know exactly how to run. Run! Oh my God! Oh, it's pressing it right. Just rotates. That's why. Okay. Right and left. When you're up, it, um, that's what it is. Run, 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 run. Everybody run. Everybody run. Huh? 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 Let's keep doing that. <laughs> and the guy run onto the field. I can't tell. Oof. No, so far this is pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm sure there's some control here, like with the yeah. pitches that I don't quite get. Don't know if I'm just hitting oh fastballs. Did I make that go into the ground? Like one foot in front of me. That's neat, though. There's quite a bit of control. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god! What? How do? No. How do? Why is the pitcher running for the ball? Definitely should not be running for the ball. What is going on? Yeah. Practice your throwing to different people right now. I, I, I don't know how. Well, press up in the button, press to the right in the button. I think so, it's the same as last one. Down goes there, right goes there. Yeah. No. Well, he just didn't. He was useless and didn't catch it. <laughs> he so, didn't throw it right to him. So there are errors. So you have to run to it. Run to it. Up yeah. is, is short step. I can't. It's pretty good that there's errors. It doesn't throw them um, directly to it. So it immediately activates your outfielder when you shoot when you hit it to the outfield. Oh. I can't throw to my outfielder. What I find well, a bit confusing right. is between the shortstop and I don't know who that what that position is. I always forget. Right. Um, I don't know how to get between those two. The infielders you need to read instructions. Some complicated okay, the controls. controls. And yeah, because there's probably more to it and. No, oh. so as a as the pitcher, I can You'd probably go to it. the right and and okay, you just need to back to the middle. You probably control what type of pitch after you press the button. Okay, there's their corner. No, okay, so I can only throw it to my shortstop. Interesting. Sorry. Yeah. That was fun though. Figure that was good. Yeah, the controls, the controls I think make that game. Real sports volleyball next. Woo! Sporting it up. Play those sports. Sport those sports. Sports sports. Go sports. 
Made by uh, Atari, Bob Polero, programmer, Alan Murphy Graphics. Are you playing Gates Computer? Yeah, I think so. Well, let's play two player. Is that you? Yep. Big sprites. Oh, uh, not too very good. <laughs> Got a shadow, which is oh. good. Yeah, the sh I'm not getting under the shadow very well, though. Do I have to hit the button for some purpose? Probably to hit the ball back. Yeah. Oh, there we good go. shot. Oh, was that out? Yep. Yeah. What? Out. Oh. Really, you have to hit it at the right angle, don't you? Oh. It's high action. God, it's hard to get under the ball. Oh, oh I just missed it. No, no. This that's... is more of a realistic uh, type of volleyball oh, game. Oh my god. Because it it's is? not slow. No. It's like real time. Oh god. Set, and then. Oh. oh I got it out, though. I hit it out. What? No, no, no. I, I know. Yep. You're blocking. So why didn't I get a point on that last one? That last one? I, I hit it and you didn't I hit it you back. didn't hit it back. No, no, the one before that. Oh I hit it out. I served. You didn't oh. hit it out. I'm not sure which one you're talking about then. Ah. Oh. So that I don't get a point because no. we didn't serve. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I I don't know, that's okay. The game goes long enough, the sun goes down and a shark swims in the water? Wow. That's awesome. That's cool. Oh. There we so go. pretty fun. I like the sound of the surf and the color changes in yeah. the water. Yeah. Oh, missed it. It's yeah. hard to set it and get the other person to hit it. I find that it is is, is pretty challenging. Oh. Yeah, really good graphics. It's easy when you're controlling the one you're controlling, but when your brain has to switch to the other person. It's different, yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, stay in the middle there. Smart to control both people at once. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Just in. That was good volley. Oh, hit it way far back. Best is to move to the center. You have to, yeah. If you're not in the center, you won't get to the ball. Yeah, there's no chance to get to the ball in time. Oh. Yay, we got some volleys back and forth. <laughs> We're getting the hang of it. What? <gasps> oh, oh. Nice blocking. Oh, too close to the net, though, because then when you hit it over, it's you're, you're stuck. Why is it not hitting over? Ugh, timing. Better. No, no. I'm. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's that's true. I thought I Out? wasn't actually no. hitting it. Oh. It's a good game. Yeah. Very, very good. Oh, good scoop. I wouldn't mind if it ran automatically went back for serving. Like just reset the guy to the back. Oh. Because they have to run manually. Back. Yeah. They're going for realism, like a hundred percent realism on this one. Oh. Oh, oh. out. Uh, it is really, really, really good. It feels like a volleyball really game. Really good. Makes me want to play volleyball. <laughs> Uh, volleyball always hurts my wrists. Uh, I, that, I, 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 I have volleyball. a limit to volleyball, especially beach volleyball. You get tired real fast. Oh, yeah. It's fun, though. Oh, too close to the nets. Well, sun's almost down. See if we can... Oh. Uh, what is it, 21? Oh. Good game! That is really a really good, good execution game. of volleyball. Made by Bob Polero and Alan Murphy, a programmer and on graphics. Nice. Next one, Deadly Duck, which I do not have and I've never played before. Mm. 
I had a volleyball game on my Commodore 64, and it was like these two heads. Two heads, and then a line in the middle, and they would just go back and forth, and you would just hit the ball with your head. It was one of the worst. <laughs> it was just pretty, pretty, uh, I won't say awful. It was sort of fun to play, but it was pretty um, silly. What's it called? Deadly Duck. Deadly Duck. Uh, October game. 7th, made by 20th Century Fox. That doesn't... Oh, what? I was like, it's a shooter, and you're a duck, and you're shooting kind of generic aliens. Uh, what the hell? Uh, made by Ed Hota Hodap. Oh, it, it, blo it blocks mm. you in. Oh, that's but a not good permanently. innovation. Other than that, it's generic shooter. Oh, my God. Come on, come on, shoot. Oh, and they go off the screen to get their bullets. Oh, is that what they're doing? Okay. That makes sense. Oh, you can shoot the bullets in the air too. Okay, that's good, because you do want to get rid of those. Ooh. I'm wondering if they don't go away in later levels. Oh my God, these guys are hard I to hit. I prefer volleyball to volleyball. It's fun to be able to bounce uh, the ball off walls. Oh, well, that would have been a good one to make. Whoa, some low guys there. I would suggest shooting those guys first. I'll shoot whatever I can hit. Ah, Whoa, what those the... you can't shoot. Oh, they're bad to shoot. Well, you can't shoot them. They, you can't kill them, I don't think. No, it just made a big mess. Ah! Come on. <gasps> oh! Oh, first death. Ah! Whoa. They're so hard to hit. <laughs> they are wiggly. Finally. Oh, same aliens. Oh, now there's a bigger row. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Whoa, Ooh, challenging. it's interesting. It is an interesting game. Oh, hit so infinite lives? What's much. Going on? No, I don't think oh, so. Oh, now you're going down in lives. Oh. So hard. Looks like you had a ton built up. Considering in most shooting gallery games you're shooting ducks, it's about time the duck had to have some fun. I bet that's Dutch. in the manual. The duck shoots back. This time, the duck shoots back. <gasps> oh my god. Hey, yeah, you have limited time to shoot them, and they're also super wiggly. I think the things in the ground are lasting longer, too. Oh my god. It is an interesting one. A couple of interesting spins on, uh... Yeah. On Galaxian. Yeah. Space Invaders, space this invaders, one almost. Yeah. It's pretty much Space Invaders, because they don't swoop down. Uh, oh. That was the end? No? Do nope. I have one more? Oh my oh, goodness, I, I got a life over. somewhere. No, I didn't. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, you got a life, that's why. He's, none of those little guys at the bottom are there when you start, so... Mm. No, I must have gotten an extra life in there somewhere. Interesting twist. Is it enough at this stage <sighs> of a twist to make it... like, compete against other games? I don't know. Maybe. It's yeah. a twist. It's a different play if you like these kind of games. But the enemies do move separately they, on each line. They're, they're challenging. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. You do get, do get a bit of time to get out of the way oh, of that. Oh, but you have to be mm, yeah. so perfect there. Oh, last life. Oh, probably dead. Oh, dead. All right. Time to... Oh. 43 seconds for me to play. Couch compliance. Yeah, it is. Nice. So you can't run into those, or no, you just No, they get... stop you. Oh, yeah, you, you don't want to get trapped, like, against Can the wall. Can one land on your head? Is that how you die? Sorry? If no, it if it lands on your head, you will die. Okay. You can shoot them, though, so you can prevent oh, them. when they're falling. When yeah. they're falling, but it's... That's you know, dangerous, though. It is. You don't want to get hit by it, so... Okay, some different mechanics. I mean, I like shooters, so I don't I don't care how old the shooter is. But I'm just thinking, in terms of, at this stage of the game, mm. is this innovative enough of a shooter that people go, okay, yeah, that's cool. Um... Probably. It's in the same era as Mega Mania. Mega Mania is very different, though. Yeah, but same, similar kind of uh, mechanic. Next one is Fast Eddie, which I don't oh, have guys. on cartridge. Hmm. 
There we go. Uh, also by 20th Century Fox. They released both on the same day. Made by Mark Terrell. Termal. Sorry. Mark Termal. Oh. October 7th, 1982. So you're getting the hearts. No! Jumped right into them. You can't get the heart without jumping on. Oh. Oh, you can go straight up. Never mind. So some of them move, some of them don't. Go up and down the ladder pretty quick. So it's best to get ones where it's not moving. But when they get tall, you can see the guy at the top. Don't want to mess with him because you can't go over him. Whoa, what are what you am doing? What supposed to do? Oh, Collect more jump. hearts. That's it. Just hearts. Hearts for now. Okay, pretty simple. Thrust is back. Still playing. Yep. Yeah. We are on the last couple. Oh. Last ten. It's Fast Eddie. The Toko's also back. Yay. Yay. Welcome back. Oh, now there's something to get. <laughs> Lucky. Oh, it's now fish. And it's moving fish. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of going on. Decent platformer. Can you call games with ladders platformers? Because I guess there's different platforms. Is that it? Dead? Dead. Okay. And it's couch compliant. Yay. Oh, you can jump backwards. I did jump backwards. Ah, no! <laughs> I did not do that on purpose. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, it's very sensitive. Oh, you have to be very careful. Yes, you do. No, good game. Lots of new Simple. things going on. Simple. No. Yeah. So you just press it once. You don't just have, once. It's a kind of tile-based. You just press it once, you automatically go up and down the ladder. That's what I wasn't getting. And you, you can, like I was jumping, but you can jump straight up, so. Yeah. Not moving. Whoa. If you don't it move. It kind of looks like one of the bad guys from o Robotron. You know, like a, the, oh, the grunt. Yes. grunt the is grunt. it? The yeah. grunt. The big green guy. I like it. It's a good platformer. Mm-hmm. Very colorful. Ladders are good. Ugh. I have to jump over. Oh, let's go down here. Yeah, they're all running around now. Whereas in the beginning they were pausing. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. Um and the dude at the top, I th it looks like the guy from that game that was based off of Ready Player One. I think that dude was in the game. Mm. At some in point that game? on the outside, on the um the trailers. There was guys like that that moved up and down. Can you confirm that thrust? Yes. Because... <laughs> mm. Fast Eddie. Thrust made that game. What's that game ah. called again? Stacks. Stacks. Stacks, yes. Oh, I have to collect tiny little tanks now. Nice. Oh, that was close. Didn't mean to do that. It happens. <gasps> oh, so you gotta jump backwards. <gasps> Oh, if you're moving if you're on the ladder, you're still on the ladder. You're you, you appear to be safe. Yeah, if you're moving on the ladder, if you're on a, a ladder, you, it doesn't check for collision. Popeye. Mm. Yeah, Popeye has ladders. What was he comparing Popeye to? Oh, I don't know. He was uh, saying something to Thunkus, so... <laughs> oh, okay. They haven't wrapped around yet. I, mean, I keep expecting them to wrap around sometimes or be... So far, they're not erratic. The guy in stacks changes height. Yes, that's what I was thinking. But he really looks like that with the long legs, right? It's like this reminds me of that guy. Yeah, it's like potions, this level. Yeah. Neat. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Lots of action. Have the ladders changed at all? Uh, they might have moved. Level to level? I think so. This is good. This yeah. is a good game. Very nice. Simple. Nice. Fun. Uh, next one is Jawbreaker. An excellent, excellent game. I do have the cartridge for that. 
in a special little bag. Oh, fancy. It's a little rare. It looks pretty. It's on it's a red, red cartridge. Yeah. Red cartridge, nice. Uh... Not a great bag, though. I oh. split it. That's okay. Very yeah. pretty. Ooh. Got little grips as well. Ah, very nice. Because it's really hard to get these out of the uh, 2600. Okay, it's Pac-Man, but different. Avoid the dudes. And you can go through those holes. Yep, you got it. Oh. And there's your power-up. That's it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they warp around the screen. Oh, they're going just a bit <sighs> faster than you. I, I, I can't quite get... Uh... Oh, come on. Oh, don't have this, this game could absolutely have couch compliance. You don't even use your... I know. Uh, it's made by Tiger Vision, October 7th, 1982, by John Harris. Oh, they move so fast. Thrust says Jawbreaker is cool. Cool and it hard. Is. Oh, out of nowhere. Yeah, that one guy did come out of nowhere. Uh, this is one of the games I'd really like to see what the high scores are <laughs> because it's such a hard game. I'm sure there's someone who plays it like super well. Yeah. Oh, don't, what? Oh, gosh. My turn. Boo! It's on the screensaver mode. <sighs> yeah, it's best to go on a level where there is a guy or don't move on to the side. They go back, they, they, they loop around. Oh, nice. Should be playing a tune during this time, I think. I think you're right. They they do move faster than. Oh, you. they turn around! Oh my god. They do turn around. That's what makes them really challenging. I think your difficulty switches are still on A. Might want to switch them oh, to B. Oh no wonder it's so bloody hard. Both of them to B. Yeah, B is like the default for easy mode, which is good, especially when playing a new game. I don't know if it'll slower? affect this. It may not oh. affect this game we're playing, though. That's okay. Because it reads them at the beginning. Fair enough. Gotcha. Usually games don't change midstream. How are you? There's a very melty black cat on the floor. Oh, melties. Sweet little melty cat. It is He's so soft. Pac-Man with I think it is table. getting a little easier. Because there's not as many on the screen. Brush those teeth. Ah, cute. Brush those jawbreakers. Gotta eat all that candy. All the happy. Purple candy. Evil auto candy. Okay. Who who in the chat okay. enjoys this. Thrills gum? Oh, who would ever eat it? I don't understand it. <gasps> yeah. This is back on the easy, so I think it did slow down when I switched it. It did, yeah. And why would you ever enjoy Thrills gum? It tastes like soap. What? I don't even know how it's on the market still. It's been on the market for decades. Who eats got soap I, I gum? I swear it's like a joke gum. It's just that purple reminds me of Thrill's gum. I bought it by accident once, like most people, and went, is this, is this a joke? Like, I thought I was being pranked. <laughs> it was awful. Um, Tanny, did you play this one on C64? No, I don't think I had I this one. I didn't either. No. I think when one enemy oh. goes off screen, it appears in your row. Oh. Oh, when it goes off, it will it'll, so, it'll appear yep, wherever it you are. That makes the sense. The yellow did go onto the row. What are you talking about? Thrills gum? Never had it. Lavender soap flavored gum. Lavender soap flavored gum. They, it would it would Ugh. sell in in convenience stores all over the place. Like yep. you would see it everywhere, and purple, people purple. actually liked it, which is just ah. crazy. Yeah, I, I I have want yet to meet somebody who likes it. Yeah. Not familiar with that gum. It might have been a weird Canadian thing, too. I don't oh, know. Oh, it could be. Uh, it's Very weird. Very weird. Really? Oh, your turn oh, again. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, take it. Look it up. Um, yeah, can anybody confirm if it is a Canadian thing? I apologize if it is, because it's terrible gum. <laughs> it's good we're keeping it to ourselves, oh. then. I swear that thing hit you me. Passed through it just barely. Whoa, and again. Are you safe on the sides? No. You're not no. safe on the sides. No, definitely not. I'm a weird Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dead. Worm War One is the next one. Perfect. Warm? Worm? Worm, worm, worm War one. one. That's Very hard to say. 
Warm Worm War One. Oh, and yeah. I have this one as well. It's uh, not super rare, but it's not common. Hmm. It's a crazy shooter! Shoot those worms! Oh gosh! Now it's moving! Ah! Oh my gosh, this game is crazy! October 7th, 20th Century Fox by David Lubar. Is it like unlimited lives? I don't get it. Uh, I don't Ugh. see lives. Oh, that's what you have to hit. Ah, uh, the big, the it's big bomb. explosion bomb. Oh god. Yeah, slow left and right movement, huh? Okay, that was definitely death. No. Wait really? for it. Wait. Oh. Okay, I guess shoot it, because there's no enemies on the screen. Weird to give you that right away. Must be completely random. Yeah. No auto fire? I bet it is. Yeah, you can hold it. Much easier on auto fire. It is actually. Because it's so fast, your bullet. Can you move faster and slower? Like moving up and down? Does that affect not, anything? Not, not that I can tell. So you just have to move out of the way and yeah. try and avoid them Ugh, try to as shoot early them. as possible. Not let them run into you. It's a noisy game, that's for sure. Whoa. Oh, now there's pillars in the way. Oh boy. Oh, you can shoot the pellets. Okay. Crazy Ooh. shooter. This is not easy. 11, 10, it's counting down to something. Oh, God. oh you should have got that guy. Dead. Dead. My turn. Dead. Okay. Cool. This is a cool game. <laughs> Did you play this game? Uh, no. No, I did not, but it is cool. Okay, okay let's start calling this game where you are a ball. <laughs> yes. Now, does this ball bounce? This what single pixel ball? I think bouncing would be fun. Make it a platformer! Yes, it looks like a Canuck gun from the good old OPG company. OPG. What else does OPG make? Hmm. Um. Didn't they make trading cards? Mm. Like, um. Didn't they make. I think like, bounce and need to reach the top. Hmm. Bounce and reach the top. There's a lot of bouncy moving up the screen games like um, where you bounce and you go up on platforms. I wouldn't want to recreate that again. Oh, what else this can you do with it? This is very, that? very cool. I really it like it. Crazy. I like the colors. It's very bright. This is not Activision, though. Uh, no, this is... I read it out, but I can't remember it now. 20th Century Fox, I believe. I don't think you have lives, you have time. Like, look, I've... Oh, you, your time goes down when you get hit. I don't know if there's, like... How do you get your time back? Four, three, two, you one, get... zero. That's the end. Can you start it again? Press. Me, please. Yeah, you start with 99. 98. It's not counting down. Oh, it very is. slowly. But when I was playing it last, it was like super fast counting down. Maybe it speeds up as you get it ahead in levels. As it starts moving forward? Because this is kind of like the tutorial level, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. But there must be a way you can earn it back. Because otherwise the game just, it ends. Well, like you just do as much over. as you can. Ah. Ah, no, 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 no. Hit it, hit it, hit it. The middle one. Boom. I guess you don't get points, though, for what you shoot no. when you hit the... God, the worms that fill the screen. Oh, God, God, God. Captain Menchie D says, the five minute limit has worked well for the show's pace. Yes, because yes. five minutes is enough to show off a game. I want to play a little bit more. How many more do we have? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven left. Can 
play, play this out. Play okay, this out. Thank you. Yeah. I really want to know if you get any more time. I haven't noticed any time increases. Nope. No time increases whatsoever. Maybe the thing is, like, you don't want it to speed up because this one I'm doing, like, I'm shooting a lot of them and it's not speeding up. Worms, worms, ah! I mean, who wants to kill worms? I know. They're not doing anything. They're just They're going just... back and forth. They're not shooting me. They're just, you know, helping, helping the decomposition of the soils and yeah, composting, you know? Yeah, they're just wiggling their way. It's good animation of the worms. Mm -hmm. Someone said dock with a bomb thing to get more time instead of shooting. Oh. oh! So you can use it to clear the screen. Nice! Thank you. That makes sense. Because it was like, there's no way this is a timed game. Like, I only have 99 seconds. Oh, you get a tiny bit. Not a lot, though. Oh, oh God! That uh, makes a lot of sense. Oh, no, four. But, I mean, it's probably just a game of uh, cool. score. It's a score game. Yeah, it doesn't change. Nice. Much. Okay. I like it. Next. I like it. Yep, not bad. Towering Inferno by U.S. Games. U.S. Games. This isn't the first U.S. Games we've come no, across, is it? The, no, it isn't. We played a bunch off the top. Hmm, okay. I don't know this one. Towering Inferno. So, good luck. Oh! Oh! Yeah, you're a firefighter, you put out the fire. And I'm not moving. Oh, it's one of those weird games where it's in Joystick 2. You have to get to the door, at the top, I'm guessing, the idea? by putting out the fire. Pretty cool. Fire's pretty cool looking. It's erratic. Or do I just, can I get, just get past it? No. Oh, oh. Oh. Now you gotta go back down. Watch out. Can I go? No, I can't go. Oh, I can only shoot up and down. Ah! What? Oh, you lost something. Don't lost know. a life. I don't know how. Do I go back out? I don't understand. Oh, go get the water. Go get those blue things. What? No. Oh, no. Oh, put out all the fire. Oh! I don't understand. Oh, you rescued two things. Looks like. Oh, now it's crazy. Hurry, people are dying up there. Is that <laughs> what's happening? I'm sure. Oh. Oh, the people at the top. That's what those oh, were. Oh, so you want to go and get them. As soon as possible. Oh, somebody's dying. Oh, you didn't get it. You didn't get it. The I did. Thing. Did you? Yes, I did. There's three people and I got one. You're like, oh, no, you didn't get it. I'm like, do I have to get all four? Like in one go? Oh, maybe you get oh, one. Oh, it's going to explode. <laughs> It is a little rough. <laughs> uh, made by Jeff Corsiglia, Corsiglia, Paul Allen Newell, and Tom Sloper, also known as Infernal Tower. Oh, hi. So you can go up to this level. What? Shoot it. There you go. One. I got one person. I can't get more. So. Oh, my God. <gasps> Quite get it, but okay. Oh god damn it! It's not easy. I'm I'm a little confused as to my what my purpose here is. I think you just take people from the top and bring them back, and they're all dead. Okay, you try. <laughs> oh, nine seconds left. Thank you. Do we have full time on this one? I don't know. I think this, I think a description of how to do it. See if you can get someone from the bottom, from the top to the bottom. Well, I did once, didn't I? You did. But just one person, and then you can go and get... 
Oh, I don't know what happened there. I don't know. You get them all when you shoot the block. Okay. Yeah, one died on the way. Is that what it's saying? Yeah, because there's How four. How many people died before you got them? Yeah, before you rescued them. From the building. Okay, so the faster you get up there, the fewer people die, the more people you actually manage to... Yeah, one yeah died. so one died, so it's all time-based. Okay. And then, well, that, yeah. And then you run out the door. Rescue and... three. Gotcha. Cool helicopter one, two, animation, three. good fire. And it just gets harder. Okay. More fire, more erratic. <laughs> Excuse me. It is. You do have to kind of get as much as you, as much of that fire down one side as you can. And then just hope they don't suddenly appear next to you as you're coming through. I'm guessing you have infinite water. Seems to. Well, there's indicate. three buckets on the bottom. No, but you, those are your here. lives. Those are your lives. Oh. They're not water. When you die. You lose one of those, so... There you go. I don't know how you get four. Oh, oh, you lost one. You have to just power through that. Yeah, I'm sure there's a way. Oh, the fire's going out. You're getting through your levels. Mm. Yeah, I think you have the hang of it now. These, they now move more. There's no way I'm going to get four. Oh, one's down. Right. Just have to take risks and like run. Yeah. Well, you kind of need to clear a path on time. one side. Time out. Okay. <laughs> it's just I kept going warm. World War World Worm War One for a while. Yeah. So next one's Sur Sword Crest Earth World, October seventeenth, nineteen eighty-two. A lot of experimenting with new game ideas back then. Yeah, for sure. This is a good and bad game at the same time. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, the other back. one fused Joystick 2 for some reason. They thought they were programmed for a Commodore 64. Um, what? What is this? It's a bunch of mini games. So what am I doing here? Catching those dudes. Oh my god. Oh my god! This is this is so imprecise. <laughs> this is it's terrible. <laughs> oh. It's a bunch of d barely okay mini games. That's what this is. Disgu and it's a contest disguised as a game. Yes, I know, yeah. And you have to read the manual on certain pages and match it with certain things on the screen and figure out clues and <laughs> Charles Williams says, you beat this in five minutes. Yeah, good luck with Sword Quest. <laughs> Thrust says, a lot of experimenting with new game ideas back then. I, I, it's... Oh, oh, you move the things. Yeah, this is terrible. Oh my god. It's too hard. The other one was, the hor it was horrible. It was like, it was. It should have been a paddle, but... Yes, both of these um, should be paddles. Like, you just hit a button and you start the game in the room. I don't know how you get them all. Uh, October sure 17th, 1982 by Atari CX, 2656 by Dan Hitchens and Mimi Naiden. Uh, so there were four games planned. Each of them had a huge prize. One was a crown, one was a sword. Forget the other one. And they cancelled the game because of the crash. And so nobody won the grand prize. No one won. Oh, they, but people won the parts. People won some of the prizes. Oh my god. I don't think I'm winning any of these. I, think I don't think the, I'm passing them. I think the second game is much more playable in terms of the games. Like this is, this is awful. This thing at the <laughs> bottom. Look how quickly it moves. Like there's no preciseness to this movement at all. You need the comic book, not the instructions. Oh, the comic, wow. Well, this is awful. You should try this. <laughs> okay. It's it's awful. Yeah. A it really looks bad awful. one. Like like. What? Where well, they disappeared for a bit there. Oh, it's hard. It's it's you move too much when you when you hit the joystick. Kind of have to slide in. Oh my God. No, it's 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 so clunky. 
it almost has a delay when you first try to move it too. Do you feel that? Like yeah, it's it's uh it's truly very terrible. very weird. True. And then this is the one. Oh, this is truly terrible. I don't even. I, I I'm sure there's a way. <laughs> is this the only game which looks better on Ccam? <laughs> Maybe the colors are atrocious. I mean, I don't hate the kind of weird colors of the things falling, but uh, the... it's very hard to see. Is that the only two games we've seen? Yeah. Is there one here? Oh, it's just this again? I think I have a better chance on this one. You were doing better than I was. I was like, oh my god, it's terrible. You're supposed to get all of them? I can barely see them, too. They fade in and out. I mean, obviously it's meant to be like... Um, Kaboom. kaboom but it doesn't control like kaboom no you need a paddle oh there's only two games earth and Fireworld were the hardest of the three releases water world was too easy so it went too far the other way mm. awful. i it... don't know how you would get all of them i just don't lots of practice oh my god Maybe there's maybe their other controllers are better with it. I don't know. It's the same game. Yeah. You have to. You must have to be able to pass these. I'm already frustrated with it. I'm already like, ah, no. No, it's, it. It gets worse the longer you play it. Thanks, <laughs> Thrust. Oh my God. Oh, this is one of the worst games we've played. Oh, hands down. Even some of the. The only one worse was racquetball because we just could, I could not figure out what the hell you were supposed to do with that game. Are you trying to catch the games or avoid hitting them? You're definitely trying to catch them. Yeah, as soon as you miss one, it's, it's it, starts it restarts. Over. It's like well, I can kind of miss some of them. Sort of. Oh, you're doing better. Uh, no. Ugh. Timer up. <laughs> Almost. Uh, and then it's up. Atrocious. Atrocious. Worst game so far. Now it's airlock. Yeah, if it was a bit more playable with the minigames. My data age. Have you played those games before? Uh, this? No, uh, the um, oh, Earth Quest They're and terrible. Water Quest and... Oh, what is this? What is going on? Oh, now I'm moving. Very tiny guy. All right, collected that. There's another one on the other side. What? Oh, you sunk for some reason. Huh? Uh, made by Data Age. Nobody knows who made this game. Nobody knows who made any of the Data Age games. You should have to do it really quick. Whoa! Got stuck. Yeah, that's not very good. Um, DA1004. What is going on? Maybe go for the left one first. I can't even move when I first start. Oh, maybe I have to only get the yellow. Because I got the pink and it's like, oh, no. Oh my god! What? How do you suddenly die? I go for the pink one first. No. Okay. I think you can't get both. I think that's the problem. If you get yellow, you can't get the pink. Title screen is the best part of this one. What the hell? What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, good title screen. It is Tanya Torture. I don't, I don't, for the life of me, understand what is going on here. Maybe I do have to get the pink. Nope. Mm. Can't get the pink. Can't go to the next level. Must be a timing thing. But the time doesn't even go to zero. It's counting down and you hit 40 and it's game over. Anyone? What the hell is the point of this game? Just do it as fast as possible. Nope, dead. You're gonna die. Too slow. Nope. 
<laughs> Can't make any mistakes. But I don't... Okay, then what do I do? I, I, Where can I go and what, what I do I do? The moment the... I go to the left, I die. Um, probably... I, we're missing something. Like, what is the point of this? Are you supposed to... Are you supposed to kill that thing? Nope. 45... Go! Wake up! Doesn't matter. You're gonna die in a second. At 40 I die, but if I do it quick and I don't... See? Um, I don't... Difficulty, difficulty switches, but... Both on, uh... What is the point of this? Like, what are we doing? There's a sh There's a ship. I assume you're trying to get up a level, but you can't go through the wall? Oh my god, I can't. I don't think I've... We've successfully gotten the thing on the right and the pink one yet. Well, no. I tried, and it wouldn't even... Did you get the, the one on the right I first? I got to the pink one. No, did you get the one on the right first? Yeah, and I started jumping. There. Oh, see there. You have to get the one on the right first. But I did do that, didn't I? No, no, you were telling me I was dying before I could get to the pink one. Yeah, I have to do it, like, super quick. But like, it doesn't... Without delay. But there's no timer. Yeah, it's at the top right. It gets to 40 and you're dead. But why would it get to 40? I don't know. Like... I don't know. And now you're dead at 40? No. Yeah, you're dead at 40. What the hell? Nope, now you're dead. Too slow. Waited too long. 43. 42. 41. <laughs> Wow. But it does look like you have to get... No, you can't jump. The start. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Ah! <laughs> jump. Just jump straight up. No, I knew I wouldn't. I can still get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. See if you can get both like you did last time and get out the door. Looks like lots of fun. No, it's not. It's a game with very little tolerance. Up, up, go up, up, up. <laughs> what the hell? Terrible. Even well, with instructions, I'm sure it's terrible. Two absolutely awful games. The last two. Yep, awful. Next one's Bugs by the same company. Saved by the bell. Data age. Whoa, that's impressive. Uh, October 21st, 1982. Is this oh, it's not working? Game. Oh, it's a paddle game. Sorry. We'll start over. Yeah. Oh, the early data age games were awful. <laughs> I can confirm that. And another stinker, one. says Thrust26. Yeah. DA1005. Shoot those bugs and lizards. Nobody knows who made this made this either. They probably don't want to own up to it. Somebody knows who made this. Somebody in the world knows who made this. Oh. Oh. How do you avoid it, though? You can't move up and down. Can you go past it? This is also a pretty unforgiving game. Nope. No. Oh, when it's pink. When it's green, you can go over it. When it's pink, you can't? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. thought I was restarting, but apparently I wasn't. Now I want to try again. Let's... Still trying to figure out. So it shoots from the side, just, which is pretty cool. But how do you avoid it? I don't know how you avoid it. Maybe do I, I was holding the. Do I play too? No. Do I help? Well, no. there is a there is a pink, but it's fine when it's green. Oh, oh no. Oh, you have to just run by really quick? I don't know. I thought maybe if I wasn't holding the shot. Right. But it doesn't seem to matter, but you can go by it really fast. 
because it's like hardware collision and it doesn't detect you on it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, what? He got to the top. Oh, okay. Okay, there. You, you try that. You'll probably do a little better than I will than I did. It does look like it can be two player, maybe. It does have auto fire. Unless you can shoot it. I don't think you can. No, because as soon as you touched it... Oh, I went to the top. Yeah, it, it's, it's, ah. it's an unforgiving game. It's... Not much to it. I mean, I guess it's impressive because those things are long, but that's not a hard thing to do on the 2600. Yeah. Gotta pay attention to those guys. As soon as that thing comes on the screen, I'm like freaking out because... But I can't. I have to keep going. Oh, it just disappears after a while. Oof, just got that in time. Good job! Level one! I don't understand that thing, though. That crosshair is like, really? Are you supposed to, like, crank by it? Is that the... the key to doing that? Oh, it's right on... Yeah, you have to crank by it super fast. Stupidity! Stupidity. <laughs> Not a good game. No. to work against hardware collision in this game. Let's go. Wham! So I can't get you. Wham! Still got me at... Oh, the thing got to the top, yeah. right? No, it's, it's, it's just a bad playability. It's not a good game. I don't get that. <laughs> One of the worst <laughs> trust sets. I don't know. He, he That might have been in reference to um, EarthQuest, though. Uh, or no, no the no, last no. one, but anyway. They're both bad. It's games like this that make me wish you had a two-minute timer. <laughs> We're down <laughs> to 12 too. seconds. Don't worry, Dave. <laughs> Dave Amazy. Dave Amazy. Dave Amazy. It's bad. It's bad. I don't Enough recommend that. buying it or playing it or <laughs> being anywhere near it. No, this one. Thrust was referencing this one. Thrust has played this one before, clearly. So. Encounter at L5. More data age for us. So they were all at the end of the data age. He didn't know the dates of them, I guess? No, I do. Oh, okay. Yep. They came late in, in that uh, period then. Oh my god. Saved by the bell again, Vitoko says. <laughs> Five minutes is pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, oh you don't have it? I do. Oh. They're just on the it's wrong one. It's another paddle game? Yeah. Oh, I don't have it. No, sorry. Another paddle game. A paddle shooter. Maybe there's hope. Oh my nope, god. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, interesting. Oh, you can move or shoot and aim your shot. That's interesting. Uh, October 21st, you 1982. You disappear when, uh, when, when you move. Which is bizarre. Super bizarre, but an interesting. But they can't hit you. Oh, but you can't see where you are either. Oh, oh, it's the bad red thing from Defender, a 2600 Defender. This looks really good. So I don't know if fine. it plays really good. I don't think it does. <laughs> oh, you like, why would you disappear when you're repositioning yourself? You can see, see the yellow thing at the top? Yeah, that that's tells you where you, where, you where you reappear. So you do know, why? well, you won't get shot. Uh, uh, oh, I guess it's you can a, disappear yourself. Oh, I guess and it's then you a defense. won't get shot. It's a defense. Okay, okay. it's interesting. It's double... No, this isn't. This isn't as bad as the other ones. No. And also, if one gets past you, you're not. I don't think you're dead. You're dead if you get hit. Right. The look of it really reminds me of oh, what is that game? Do you, do you lose a life? Oh no! You do lose so a life when that guy comes. The to red guy. When he when he goes to the uh, horizon. Hyper warp. What? There's warping. <laughs> well, I guess hyper warping when you disappear. So Date Age dumped a bunch of games all at once. Oh, all God. the five games we're playing. There's no um. So when you get hit, there's no obvious indication that you've been hit. Oh, really? Yeah, you, you just, just keep playing. You lose a life and keep going? Like, Oof. there's no pause? There's no explosion? Oh, oh see, that's that. it. But, I mean, it, it doesn't stop the gameplay, so it just keeps 
Oh, yeah, that's a bit bad. It should maybe pause it for a second, or... It's like, nope, enemies will keep coming. No matter what. Some of your shots seem to go through them and not make a noise, and they just disappear. Oh, there's a horizon, I guess, that they don't go past. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, I got there. Damn. Okay. Can you reset it for me? A little more, more, more polish, and this could have been good. It's, it's not terrible. I like the It's not terrible. Controls. It's interesting. The controls are quite interesting. I would have liked it if you could actually see yourself. No, I kind of like that, too. Did you get used to it? I guess you get used yeah, to it. You look I at the of, top. I kind of like that, too. But you can't I've never seen a game like shoot this. that guy when he gets close to the horizon. That thing you have to really? hit. You have to prioritize hitting that. I guess just getting immediately under it and Yeah, you weren't and shooting, quite over it. I was scared to get under it, but if you did, I probably would be able to oh. shoot it. Well, you lost. See, you've lost two lives already. Oh, my God. And you, you, it, the problem is I think it should pause when you lose a life. <gasps> and oh yeah, God. done. Wow. It's That's interesting, hard. eh? It's it's interesting. It's interesting. I don't know what I would do better. I think it should pause and start over when you die. So that oh. you get like a, bre a, a breather and then yeah. you know you've lost a life and then you start over. It just continues. Yeah. I don't think I like that. Yeah. Because um, then, you know, if you die, you, s you don't even realize. See, so you just died and it just nothing stops. It just keeps going. I don't think I like that. I think I kind of like the rest of it, though. The fact that yeah. you can stay in one place and, and snipe. Yeah. And then if, if the unique. shots are getting close, you just go... There you go. You just go um, and reposition yourself. Smart. I think I figured out how to kill those guys when they're on the side. You have to get close to them. You have to be on the opposite side of them. Yeah. Because if you're, if you're over here and you shoot to the left, you can't. You have no angle on them. Mm. You have to be over here. See how the angle? See how much of an angle I have here? Then I can get him. Mm. But being on the left of him when he's on the right-hand side, you can't. You can't actually even shoot over there. I do feel like you're on a football field for some reason. <laughs> the green? <laughs> the green football field at the bottom with yeah. the yard lines going off into the distance. a different color might have been better. Yeah. Uh, no, it's good. Yeah. It's decent. This this of of the it's data decent. age games is a playable game. It's in, and it's got a bit of a unique a unique gameplay. And a little hard too. My I have a crick in my neck. It's been bugging me for two days. Next one's oh. Warp Lock. Also made by Do we need Lose. a paddle? Yep. Okay. Last of the paddle games today. Uh Data Age one zero zero two. These were all released October twenty first. Stop it. There you go. How many different angles are there possible to shoot? Oh. What's going on? Oh, now it's working. Oh, this is... Oh my god, you're in the middle of the screen. You can't go up or down. You just go back and forth. What's going on? Are you dead? That quickly? You only have to shoot one of them? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, whoa. This game is, uh, interesting. Oh god. Get cornered. God, that that's quick. Quick death. Thrust says, I never understood this one. Just a basic shooter, I think. <gasps> oh god, Ran into running them. into things. That's it. One life. One life. <laughs> one life. Oh, my back! That's very... <laughs> oh, what's going on? Uh. Turn too far, sorry. <sighs> Avoid them. Oh, uh. You press reset. I can just keep shooting them as they yeah. come out. Good. It's oh god, one life is crazy. Are you sure this one isn't from 1977? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, exactly. the stars make it not from 77. Really? Mm -hmm. But the rest of it, yeah, this is pretty rudimentary. Pretty basic. 
The only thing that sets it apart from a 77 game is the graphics. That's it. Russ isn't holding back. He's oh, they're shooting now. Terrible, he says. It's it's not as bad as the bug game. It no, the bug game. Oh, they're shooting. But it's so glitchy. This game is... Or like, whatever that submarine game was that just made oh, no sense. Yeah, it's we'd like, have to read the instructions What the hell? Yeah, that. you definitely need instructions. Oh, now they can shoot them separately. That one, anyway. Oh, you're doing much better this round. It's 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 almost good. Like it could be good. Yeah, it's it's you're getting used to the it. The fact you're in the middle of the screen is very strange. The music sound noise is annoying. It yeah. is. Dee -doo, dee -doo, dee -doo, dee -doo, dee -doo, dee -doo. And it goes off tempo and then goes in like out of syncopation then the one like very good. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. You're like we're over it. Yeah. Snake. Another data age? Yeah, last one. Oh, warp lock. No, it's because it's paddle. I put the paddles too. Oh, I see. Snake? Yeah, yep. that's it. One more game one after more this. One more game after this. Last data age. Data age, you have one more to redeem yourself with. Cool. So far, this one is playable. The last one was playable. The other ones were not. Yeah, this one's playable. Yeah. Not the, the, the ones where it was coming down the screen. <laughs> that was fun. Go for Man 96 is for a while. It looks like you'd make it through the episode without too much shovelware. Apparently that was wrong. It all came shoveled at the end. Yeah, they just... From data age all they built just up. Grabbed a cart and dumped it, in, dumped it in our very hot little room. And so. nobody's taking responsibility for these data age games. I couldn't find really? any author for them online. I mean, I, I don't want to like... I don't know. They're not <laughs> like atrocious. Like this isn't atrocious. It's, it's, this it's one bad. isn't bad. The last one was decent. The other ones were terrible. The person who made this did not read the manual on how to make games though, because it's glitching out like crazy. Oh, it's really glitchy. Somewhere in Taiwan, I bet. Press twenty six. Yeah, it's <laughs> Could possible. Be. Yeah, somebody just hired, hey, here's how you kind of make games. Can you make some games for us? I'm going to put some pretty pictures on them and sell them. And then the cartridge labels look pretty cool. Yeah. Except they're all peeling off. Yeah, good all of the ones design. that I have, the data age ones, are all peeled off. Yeah. Terrible condition. Hey. Last one is Snake. Is that it? Okay. Snake, yeah. And I've got the cartridge for Snake. Would this um, um, be the same as the um, snake on the uh, oh, flip I, cell phone game? I or? doubt it, but never know. Work? Oh. Reports say Journey, Journey, Journey Escape bankrupted Data Age. <laughs> Journey Escape? Journey yeah, Escape. Yeah, Journey Escape's not great. Better than these oh, games, though. Oh, it just though. started immediately. Oh. What am I doing? Oh, you're, there is a snake. You're that dude. Oh! What? It's like centipede. Oh my god. Move out of the way. Get down. Down. Can you move down? Nope. Oh. Nope. So you I just can't. crash? Oh, I can't god. move. That's move. crazy. I can move side to side. Up and down do nothing? Oh! You oh, you can! Down. Only around the edges of the box. What? Oh, that's friggin' awful. <laughs> Slimers are in the game. Oh, some chunky, chunky sprites going on there. Oh, weird. Weird dudes. And those things block your shots, so you have to be in between. Get out of the way! Oh, God. No, because you can't get out of the way from the middle. What a weird game. You can't even shoot it. You have to avoid that guy. Oh, he's to avoid. No, no, you can shoot it. But you can't shoot down. It's terrible. It's terrible. When you when you get when you get the gameplay, it's not unplayable, but you'll you'll realize how bad it is. Have you been able to kill any of those yes. segments? Yes, yeah. yes. It's hard to tell. It seem to oh, I, I was before. <laughs> you die and turn into a flag. I guess that's to mark your burial site. Um Nostalgia said both in this and the previous game, if you shoot one enemy in a group, the whole group is destroyed. Yes. Bad programming. They don't know how to deal with it. I, I already grossly dislike this game. <laughs> it, I, oh god, it's awful. One life again. Yeah, one life games. Oh, I can't go right to the top? 
No, you can go around the edge of the perimeter of that square. Yeah, but I was trying to go up further. And you further. can only shoot in the direction you're, you're moving, like... Oh, this is bad. Across the bottom, across the side. Do you see that? It's awful. The controls are Terrible bizarre. Terrible and bizarre. Like, the controls don't even make sense. Like, I am pushing left to go down, up to go up. You can only go around the perimeter of the square, and you can only shoot left when you're on the left edge, right on the right edge, up from the upper edge, and down from the bottom edge. <laughs> this is terrible. It's just bizarre. It's it's like... Oh my god. This is like some... Oh, this is bad. This is like a bad Batari basic. Getting shots vertically first. behind the red blocks looks tr tricky. It is. You have to... And you can only do it from the top or bottom edge, not from the left or the right. Okay, this is... The controls are probably the worst I've played. They don't make sense. Like, I'm pressing to the right. Up and to the right. That's how you move up and down. <laughs> yeah. Up and the right to go down. I have to press... Oh, left and right in the bottom makes sense. You can do that. Left and right on the top can go that. Yeah, you. it's, it's like you're oh, pressing you press left to down. follow the edge. You're following the left edge, so you press left. It's nope. weird. I think I've got it now. What, what do you mean? Oh, you can go up and down there. Yeah. yeah but I've, it's... I've got a handle on the controls now. I understand how they work. Well... They're stupid. Well, am I wrong? You're following the edges. That's all you you're are. doing. Yeah. But you go to the bottom, then you can go left and right. Yes, 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 yes. You go yes, to the yes. right, then you can go up and down. Yes, yeah. But, oh, but it's, it's... You have to, you have to kind of turn a corner is basically it. You're turning yeah. a corner before you can go up and down. You shoot these weird Super slimer weird. ghost dudes. You, you are getting points. And that snake, you just avoid it. That's all there is. So you just stay at the bottom. I was able to make it shorter, but I, I couldn't quite figure out how. I don't know. You have to do it when it's at the top. Shoot that um, snake. I don't know. I was able to get... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, a little bit. You, it but does once it's there, you can't slightly. shoot it. Because you can only shoot up... Because it. you have to be facing up or down. Yeah. Right? You can't catch it in the middle. This Super game is weird. terrible. This is a terrible, terrible game. Press 26. These games cause the crash. <laughs> yes. Well, it's not type quite crash time, but these types of games cause the crash. Bad Batari Basic first. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bad first attempt at a Batari, Batari basic game. Yeah. Except Fine. it's a little bit better than that. And then Trey Guy says, wow, this would be a fantastic name for a game. <laughs> what, what, what? Bad game? Batari basic first. <laughs> Bad Batari basic first. Oh boy. Yeah, some of the Atari recharge games give you only one life. So it's such a bizarre decision. Yeah. It is. Well, interesting, interesting um, meander down um, 2600 82. game lane. Where's my list? Started off strong list, and please? kind of started to crap out towards the end. Okay. Well, you're welcome, Mr. Zarnawoop. My favorites. Um, Berserk. I think Riddle of the Sphinx might be okay if we knew a bit more about I it. I liked it. It looked fantastic. Looked it, looked I kind of wanted good. to play more, which is a good sign. It's a good game. Uh, Lock and Chase was good. Uh, needed to play more of that. Um, Room of Doom actually was quite good. Where it's all around the edges. Yeah, yep. yeah that was I a good that. game. Uh, Star Raiders was a bad version of one that's been made a ton of times. I uh, can't remember what Threshold is. Um, Pitfall, great. Obviously going to play it. Almost all the Star Path games were great. Common just uh, Mutants from Space. That, that okay... That was I good, think if it had a different game. name, <laughs> would have done probably. Commie well Mutants better. from Space was pretty funny. Uh, the game was excellent. Mm -hmm. um, probably a questionable choice for the name. Yep. I'm not sure how the mutants were communist in any know. way, but anyway. Everything's bad communist it, in the eighties. I just it's just funny. It's a very funny name, but the game is excellent. Fireball Child was Breaker. a pretty good breakout game. Phaser Patrol, I can't remember. <laughs> All these names are so yeah. vague. Suicide Mission, Submarine Commander was awful. That not was, a great that was game. The thing you shoot yeah. in the water and you scroll up and down. It was not great. It was not great. Venture is good, but the, the hack of Venture is way better. Yeah. Way better. Get that one. Armor Ambush, a decent, you know, sequel to uh, to uh, uh, um, Combat. Yeah. 
Beanie Bopper, repetitive. Frogs and Flies, fun kids game. I think um, creative. I think there's something to be said at, at this era of yeah. Atari games. The ones that are creative seem to leave more of an impression. Frogs and Flies really does leave a strong impression it because it's not like the other so games. So different. There's so many Space Invader type games, yeah. scrolling up the screen and shooting thing type games. Rank Even if they look good and they play well, yeah. they feel very samey. Mega Mania, awesome. Mousetrap, awesome. Real Sports, Baseball and Volleyball. Volleyball especially, awesome. I, I, I'm impressed with real sports volleyball, actually. Yeah. I didn't think that was going to be as good. A, it feels like you're playing a game of, of volleyball. Rank the worst ones. It's hard. Ooh. It's hard. Well, Deadly Duck was kind of cute. Yep, that was cute. Uh, but again, it's just a space invader-y kind of shooting game. And at this point, I'm not... They don't feel very fresh. They feel like no. the same game, even if they've added little elements into it. Fast Eddie was fine. Jawbreaker was good. Is a good Pac-Man. War More 1... Again, was okay. Good, but it feels samey. like other games I've played. Towering Inferno was pretty innovative. I like Towering Inferno. Yeah. Again, it seemed more. Uh, it, it felt more unique. Sword Quest Earthworld is probably one of the Awful. worst today. Awful. Awful. Uh, all the Data Age ones are trash. Like Encounter pure. at L five and um, Snake. No, that no, was Warplock. terrible. Was it Warplock? Warplock wasn't terrible. Yeah, Encounter at L5 was about to be the best one. And and, and the, the rest were pff, yeah. just trash. What is my favorite game? What did I, what what surprised me? Um Volleyball surprised me. Volleyball's up there actually. I wouldn't have thought I would like the sports games so much, but Room volleyball is pretty good. And Riddle of the Sphinx the Sphinx, sorry, I yeah. want to play again, which is a good sign that it's a good game. Yeah. I, I think both of those were high up there and they seemed really, really fun. Yeah, a lot um, of them need better names like Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker stands out as a good name. Yeah. Uh yeah, I think those are those are up there. What one did I like the least? What was the one that you just kept dying? That was the data age one. Airlock? Airlock. What the there, hell? There might be something to it, but it has no room for error. I guess... What I, the hell? I'm guessing you that can go awful. up that elevator somehow and get to the next level and do the same thing again with no. a small amount of time, but even if you could, yeah. why? Why would you want to jump for those things? What was the other one I was, I was cursing at? Um... Bugs oh. that just go up the screen? That one's bad, too. What was the one I was really having trouble with, though? I can't it was remember before which date one it was. Age. It wasn't. A it was. It wasn't was it? the date age one. I was really, really annoyed with the gameplay. Anyway, uh, I can't remember now. I'll have to go back. I post about that above. Yeah, Cafe Man 2D, but I just can't remember off the top of head which one that was. Mm, I can't remember. Yeah, old B movie sort of name for commie mutants from space. Yeah. You evidently need to grab the orange key first, then the white key in airlock. Yeah, like there's a very specific and pattern we didn't know. But you get ten right, you're seconds you're to you're do right, it. You're you're right, right, right. Like, thank oh. you for subscribing, Repentless Yay, Repentless Fiji. Fiji. Nostalgia says thanks for highlighting the highlights and slogging through the shovelware. No problem. That's what we got to do. No, we got to get fun. through it all. And you know what? Limiting it to five minutes, playing a bad game for five minutes doesn't impact your life very much. And playing so a good game fine. for five minutes is enough to get yeah. the idea and to make it's you want to play it's more. It's kind of fun to play the bad ones too. It is. Like just rawr, Like what is up with this game? Yeah. Yep. Good, Can't good show. Bad good show. I, yeah. I, th I think there is a lot of variety in those games. So lots of variety. Yeah. Um. Uh, so we're back on Tuesday. Or oh. thank you for joining us, Gopher Man. I. It's rare yeah, that we you. have such an early, more early in the day game um, show. Yes. But very because rare. it's so hot here, we figured morning was going to be better than trying to do it at night again because it's super hot. So. And it definitely was better to do yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, in the morning, even though it's pretty hot right now. Maybe you should do the same with all homebrews. We could do that at some point, uh, but right now this is for the anniversary. So yeah, yeah. Um, so forty um, fifth. I don't know when we're gonna do the next one. Try to fit it in somewhere. It's gonna it cool off on Monday, so at least it won't be quite so. Uh, it probably won't be Monday. Probably not Don't, Tuesday. Probably not show. Tuesday. Maybe Wednesday. We can do Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. It might be Wednesday. Yeah. Um, but on Monday, we have the exclusive world premiere of Zoltrix. We're going to play, be playing uh, Secret Collect, Atomic Disco, and I'll probably pick one Excuse more. Um, 
yeah and then on the 19th we have the atari lynx special first edition first show where we play the atari lynx because i'll have my consoleized uh, uh atari lynx mm. to plug in through vga uh and we're playing a bunch of games and they're mostly small games on yeah. the atari lynx it's a handheld they're mostly casual games yep nice um how about the 50th I don't know what we would do for the fifth. Oh no, he said for the homebrews, doing all the homebrews in a row. Oh, for the fifth. Yeah, you could. There are about four times as many homebrews. Really? Yeah, there's a. Um, well, depends. What there's if you about only... to 150 uh, a year put out? Yeah, but what if you only did the ones that were titled as being completed? Because there are a lot of homebrews that never get completed. Hmm. That that would make it be me hard to go have through to go the through list. every single one well, and go. Is this completed? Well, look through the notes. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's uh, that's hard. Maybe Arena Foot could help you with that though. He might. I mean, he might know. He but... does. I think in his spreadsheet he does classify them as work in progress, abandoned, or completed. Yeah. So, so if you limited it to completed games, games people have have called done or released on cartridge. Yeah. I could do released on cartridge homebrew. Anything on cart, yeah, there are probably not that many. No, that, that really would be more limited. Yeah. Limits it down. Yeah. Thank you, Atari Patch Quest. Yes. Yep. Oh, we, we're doing our Patch Quest too. We're down to 12 games? Something like that? For for um, Activision. Activision. For Magic, we have zero, and it'll probably stay at zero forever. <laughs> it's they very are hard. Brutal. Yeah. 150 new Atari homebrews every year. Yep. Um, 100 to 150 uh, in the last, let's say, f seven years. It's yeah. really ramped up. Yeah. Um, previous years, it's less and less and less mm. and less, of course. Mm. Um, yeah. Fun stuff. Um, probably Wednesday, the next one. So we've done about 150. So far. Under the 450. Okay. So we're one th what? third of the way Close through. Close-ish to one third. Good. Good. Yep. yep. So we'll, we'll see we'll if we can make through. it. If not, we're going to do some marathons the last two days. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's yep. fair Split enough. Split up the last. If we um, have to cram them in at the, at the end. Yeah, because we're going away and then we'll be back and then we probably only have two days to play them. So whatever we get done beforehand is going to get done. It's going to get done and then okay. we have two days to I think them. we have a good chance of getting through a f most a of it. A good chunk? Yeah. yeah if we, we have, have to have a couple of long shows at the end, I think that's fine. But we have about uh, three weeks more before we go away. I think we'll get through a lot of it. Yeah. Even if we have a hundred at the end. Oh, hundred's fine. Fifty. Well, it's a long. But fifty, we, fifty, or you could try to do three shows, but yeah. Yeah. Skip I'll a be, main show and do three. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. At the end. That's at the end, possible. if you had to. The worst is yet to come. <laughs> Thanks, Thrust. <laughs> Some good ones too, but also worse. It's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna go like this. Yeah. They're going to get really good and really bad. Yeah. Yeah. And the middle ground is going to be vacant. Yes. Yeah. Um, so thanks for hanging out with yes. us. Thrust 26, Cafe Man 2D, Charles Wheel, and Vitoko, Atari Patch Quest, Trey Guy, Gopher Man, uh, Chalcedony Mao, Thunkist. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Yeah. But we're doing early morning. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Zarna Whoop, uh, Nostalgic Dave, M A Z. Um, Looking like there's a lot of people in the chat today, so maybe the uh, the morning ones aren't such a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. well, we can Try do those to get on the a weekend. Few, a few weekend morning morning shows. Yes, Sundays Gato, mainly. Gato Zerma, yeah, Sundays. Yeah. Uh, who else? Lots of chatting today. Wow, and that's it. I think. Let's yeah, check who thank you. Chimed in the last second. Good show, good games, except for the bad games. <laughs> Thanks yep. for Toko, too. Thrust's barbs never get old. I always <laughs> check the news, 2,600 releases in the plus card. Many of them are hacks and mods. And yes, things. that's very There's true. a lot of hacks that yeah. get released. We don't play hacks on the show. No. Mods, just... yes, but... Uh, or not no, mods. No, no I mean, mods, uh, no um, not, that's not the term. Homebrew. Home, no, um, what is it called? When it's you're making an old game because it was never on the system. Um... Oh, ports. Ports. Oh, yeah, That's what I was ports. thinking. Ports. ports. Ports, I think, are good. Yeah. Yeah, hacks and mods are a little different. Yeah. Because they're just these games, except different graphics. Morning is actually uh, 1043 oh. here. 
Well, yeah. That's good. It kind of works. But for morning for us, so I think it kind of it balances out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're out of here. Yes. Uh, back on Tuesday. Yes. So tune in then. It's an evening show. Yes. We will see you then. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.